Hey, everybody. Welcome to IGN Plays Live. Hello. I'm Max Scovo. This is Tom Marks. Hi there. You are a newly minted PC editor. Is that yes, right? that is right. And we're actually we're playing a game that comes from some a long line of PC lineage. We're playing Lawbreakers, oh, which yeah. is, of course, the first game from Boss Key, uh, founded by Cliff Wazinski, who made friggin' Jazz Jackrabbit in Unreal, <laughs> of course. Um, the renowned PC game yeah, Jazz Jackrabbit. Yeah, the, the classic, the one that everyone remembers it for. Um, we are actually going to be giving away something very cool. We've got a prize pack from MSI, which includes an MSI gaming keyboard, gaming headset, a backpack, and a super genius mouse. Look at a picture of that. Mitchell, you want to show that off? Is it showing off? Cool. Yeah. So all you have to do to win this is go to go.ign.com slash plays live MSI, or we have a link in the description down below. So uh, check that out. And without further ado, do you want to play some law breaking? Yeah, man. I'm, I'm ready. I'm queuing up right now. So this is effectively like an arena here. Yeah, it's it's uh, 5v5, all the main, oh, there's like five modes right now, all the modes are like score based. So instead of something like, it's, you know, it, it's one of those games that gets a lot of comparisons to Overwatch, but it's yeah. actually, it's a much different game. It feels I more mean, like... Obviously it's just, it kind of has some roots in it. Yeah, it's, it's a lot more like UT. Uh, I, that's what I would point to. And now, the, the titular law that's being broken here is predominantly gravity, right? Yes, the law of, of gravity. Jumping Oh wow! Okay. So it's Ooh. a it's a very fast game. This character is uh, the Wraith, so I'm playing him. He's got three jumps. Wow! Um, and then on top of that, he's got oh, I just fell off an edge, but no, I'm okay. Um, <laughs> so this area is actually like a low gravity area, so you can do things like shoot your gun. Oh, maybe that's not right. There we go. Um, you can like shoot your gun behind you to like gain momentum. That's and, like, really cool. You can, yeah, it, it's pretty sweet when you actually get into stuff like that. Um, I've only been playing it for like a few hours so far, so I'm like, super familiar with the map and now, where there is a low gravity. It just came out today, right? Yeah. And it's sort of it's it's not it's this is the full this is the full official release, correct? Yes. And it's thirty bucks, mm -hmm. uh, and it's going to PS4 as well. There's, I mean, it's obviously prepare for combat. Keyboard, Five, like, hardcore, four, real tournament three, crowd, but two, they also are making one. Oh. Yeah. It has a bit of that, because like especially this character can actually wall jump, and that doesn't use one of his double jumps, or his triple jumps, so it, it's got vibes of Titanfall, uh, but it's it's a very quick game. Nice. Yeah, I've, I've been like very curious about it. Also, there's a mode called, uh, is it Blitzball? Blitzball, yeah. yeah. Which is... is not the most original name, but okay. you know. <laughs> but there's something special about this which I think is uh, kind of great. Yeah, so that, that mode is, this mode we're playing right now is called Turf Warrior. Just kind of, it's like a, a change on a thing to hill mode. Kind of like a, a bit of a switch on that. But Blitzball is like, almost like a weird change on a capture the flag. There's a ball in the center. You try to, each team tries to get the ball and then score it in an opponent's goal. Okay. Um, but the ball like yells at you and, and talks to you while you're playing. And it's voiced by Justin Roiland. Yeah. Like Rick and Morty fan. So you have you have basically like a Rick and Morty voice being like, ah, geez, you gotta get the ball to the goal. I love that. Yeah, it's super silly. Well, I, I love that we're at a point now where you see like Dan Harmon and, and Justin Roiland interacting with people. Yeah. Kind of, kind of like those guys are uh, like the Rick and Morty guys are, are well at least Justin Roiland in any case are big like IGN fans. Mm -hmm. And whenever we have them on our live stream at, at like Comic Con, they start like demanding to see Craig Harris, who is our old like. Like portable games editor. <laughs> um, so it's kind of weird to be like, then you got like, you know, a big fan of like, you know, weird cartoons and stuff, getting them up and being like, hey guys, you know, be in this game. Yeah, and it's not even like, it, it's like a surprisingly little amount of voiceover, too. For, for I, I feel like they would just take advantage of Royal and make like the bar stop talking about it. But yeah, it's. Well, there's, always, there's always DLC. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just want Justin Roiland narrating every mode in every game. <laughs> Now, you were saying that, um, I mean, obviously, this is going to have some Uh, yeah, so you can buy loot chests. Uh, yeah. the game is $30, uh, normally, and that includes all the maps, all the characters, all the modes from now and the future. So there's nothing gameplay-wise that you can buy. But then the loot chests are, uh, all cosmetics. You can get different gun skins, you different character skins, uh, little that's stickers nice. on your weapon. Not screw it up for anybody else. No, yeah, it's it's very it's like not uh, bad. Michael. Now, I'm used to sort of a really like you know, the different gun which is Is it more like each character has a little set of weaponry? Kind of 
lock do in this case? Yeah. A lot Overwatch? Okay. Uh, you basically, most characters have one gun, some have two, okay. um, and then and they, you have... Some like abilities, really? Uh, no, no, so okay. they also have abilities. Uh, you like this character can slide as one of his abilities, gotcha. um, and then his main fire is this little machine pistol, and his ult is like a knife that dives him forward a little. Um, and then he has a, a ultimate ability. Some characters choose or don't, but that one just got me killed. Yeah, that's the one that you kill yeah exactly. Yeah. It's it's not the best one makes, in the game. It makes you really suck for a minute. Yeah, exactly. I use that ability a lot now, actually. Which mode are we playing right? Uh, this mode is turf war, well, okay. uh, and the way that works is That's there are control points. Okay. Yeah, it's like kind of King of the Hill where there are three control one. points on the map. Uh, one kind of near each player's base, and then one in the center. Um, and you fight over all of them, but really the contested one is the center one. Uh, and if the first team to capture 16 control points wins, and when all three are captured, they reset. Uh, so it's this constant back and forth of like, you try to make sure you get yours and then see if you can fight over the center one. Um, and if you can capture two per round and the other opponent just gets their normal one per round, then you win in eight rounds. And if you capture all three, you win quickly. Now, the one I'm curious about, there's a mode called Overcharge, which yeah. sounds like, it's like capture the flag, but the flag is battery. And it, instead of just bringing you back to your base and getting the point, you have to defend it while it's charging. Yeah. So it's like fighting over like a, a phone charger or like a USB backup. Yeah, you, you, like it's, you it's charge like, I feel it like I've done that in real life at conventions or something. <laughs> and it, it sucks too because if, if you charge it up 100% in your base, then you have to like defend it for 20 seconds. Mm. So you, they can steal it while it's at 100% charge and plug it into their Ooh, base. Okay, so the, the charge actually carries over. The charge break. carries oh, over. Oh man, yeah. that, that's that could get that could get frustrating. Yeah, and there's a there's another version of it called uplink, which is very similar except for uh, the charge is unique to each team. Okay. Uh, and that one, that one I actually like a little more because you can't have those moments where just like somebody comes from behind and right. wrecks you at the last second. Uh, let's see, Mike McBride on Twitter, he's Sergeant Death Scythe Zero, good username. Uh, he says, any chance we'll be able to see the heroes upgrades outside of a match? Yeah, definitely. Actually, uh, that might be from a different stream. I'm looking at, I'm using the hashtag IGN plays live on Twitter to keep track of what's going on. That's actually a good question. It tells you a lot about what gaming's like <laughs> in 2017. Um, yeah, let's take a look at, I mean, after you finish this, let's take yeah. a look at some of the characters and the roster. Definitely. This is my favorite character so far, uh, which is why I started on it. Um, now, somebody was saying in the comments that the Wraith is, is overpowered. Uh, I don't know anything about that, okay. but... You've been kicking ass with him, though? Uh, I've been enjoying him a lot. He's really, really mobile. So this is the Wraith, which is that guy. He's kind of, I've got like a weird jokery skin for him. Um, it looks like a Nerf gun. I dig it. Yeah. <laughs> a couple of the other characters that I really like. The Harrier is actually one we can show off, because this is... Uh, the one they just added to the game, like they, it wasn't in any of the betas or anything. Um, and he's kind of Iron Man. Okay. Uh, he's got like, you can't see it right now, but he's got laser boots and you can actually like use them to fly backwards and then also use them to attack people. Um, and he's got a big old laser gun and his ultimate is that he shoots a giant laser from his chest. So it's, it's a very laser oriented character. And he also throws out those health packs and can weaken enemies. Um, it's like a one thing that's really interesting about this game too is that there isn't really like a support class, right? Uh -huh. Right behind the door. Tapping way over there. Waz, waz oh. all over the place. Um, now, is there any kind of a single player story here yet? No, no single okay. player. Uh, there's actually not even a rank two right now. Wow. Um, okay. It's just oh. Uh, but it's it's just a quick match queue, and then you can make custom games. Um, cool. And they've they've said they're gonna add rank later, but they want kind of to get the the kinks out, you know, uh, get some of the um, like balance down mm -hmm. a little more, and they'll no, they'll it, add rank later. It's interesting between this and Fortnite, which also just launched this week, yeah, um, which is obviously that's been made by Epic, but you know, mm -hmm. uh, they these are games that both seem like they're really taking their time. Uh, and obviously they've been they've been in the works for a while, but like in terms of like balancing and I mean I think there's there's almost kind of like a, a they're sort of asking for like a kind of a vehicle book for the community to be like hey give us a second to really balance this because these are big multiplayer games that require you know testing in the wild you can't just launch them and be like hey here it is people think it's broken and yeah kind of like hey we're, we're kind of ironing out things here with us which is, I understand it but also it's like a little disappointing to. To get a game on the launch day and just be like, oh, well, this isn't yeah. quite done. But I, I, I guess I'd prefer that than them releasing something that's just not right. right. I mean, 
and it helps. It softens the blow that it's it's thirty bucks. Yes. Uh, I think they when they first announced this, they were talking about it being. I don't know if it was free to play. It was free to play. Was it free to play? Yeah, okay. it was free to play, and then about a year and a half ago, I think it was GDC twenty sixteen, they they announced that they huh. were moving away from free to play. I did not do great that game. Uh, they were moving away from free to play because they they felt that like the systems they were putting in to kind of make it more free to play ish like just didn't gel with the actual game uh, and they just felt like it didn't fit and it was distracting so they just made it this which is thirty dollars you get everything nothing gameplay related is locked behind any sort of wall i mean that's a i think that's a smart move and that uh obviously they're going to continue to support it and there are you know there are microtransactions for cosmetic stuff like that cool giraffe gun yeah this, this yeah, giraffe like... gun is is one of the skins i've already unlocked and Ooh. i love it dearly there's there's a lot of different gun uh, gun skins that are very very cool. Um, the lot of there's like about it seems like three or four different kind of models per character skin, uh, and then there's like colors on top of that. That's so like cool. this That's, is your normal one. I, I, yeah, I mean I feel like it's it's sort of financially viable to keep updating that. Around. Yeah, and if, yeah. And if the game is cheap enough that people can jump on board and they continue to support it with balancing and everything, then you know that's how you that's how you build a sustained you know sustained engaged community. Um, yeah. As opposed to just being like, here's the here's the game. It's the new one is out next year. <laughs> Everyone who plays the old one is screwed. <laughs> and uh, th this is one of my favorite classes as well, the Juggernaut, which is a straight-up robot on Ooh, both teams. I like him. Yeah. Um, I really wish I, I wish that he had some sort of, like, very weird skin, but I guess that is what you were just saying of, like, it's early, you know, they're yeah, going right. to keep adding I mean, to this game. if they've got Justin Roiland voicing a ball, it wouldn't <laughs> surprise me if they got kind of silly with that. We see, we saw that also with, I mean, Overwatch was the same way, where it initially was like, they had sort of a style guide, and then they were like, hey, here's the Lunar New Year skins, and, uh -huh. you know, weird, sexy holiday ones. I was like, what is going on? Yeah, so the Juggernaut is this very tanky guy. He's got 600 health. He's got oh, a big man. shotgun. Ooh, that and looks a fun, yeah. Shotgun with a bayonet. That's, that's just, that's just. So here's one of these low gravity zones that I was telling you about. You can actually spin around these little gravity balls, which is extremely Ooh. fun. Huh. Um, but this guy doesn't have a triple jump, but he can shoot behind him, and I'll show you that in a sec, to, to propel himself forward. For this guy's actually one of the, Five, the Juggernaut's one of the four, least mobile classes three, in the game. Two, and it's really cool four. that this game that's all about mobility actually can still have pretty slow classes, and it doesn't really feel like it's out of place. Um, cool. I mean... I mean, obviously, the comparison obviously is, is Overwatch because that's a huge game right now. Right. Uh, and it's we're seeing a lot of sort of, you know, a lot of hero shooters kind of throw their hat in the ring. And it, it, it feels like you know five years ago when everything had to have like a competitive multiplayer mode. Uh, but I think it, this I think this one sort of has speed to back it up. You know, it's doing something on its own. You know, it is. It's you know, people love like like you said, people love playing the comparison game. But like Lawbreakers is actually pretty unique within this space. Like, it's similar to UT, but it's not just, like, yeah. UT, you know? It feels much more modern and than isn't, that. Isn't Epic working on a, a new Unreal tournament as well? Yeah, Unreal, they have it, right. they've had it in playable alpha for free for a while now. Um, you can download the Unreal to, like, I think it's the Epic Launcher or whatever, and you can just play the new UT right now, which is really, really rough. Epic Launcher sounds like a, like a PC weapon. <laughs> yeah, it does. So it's funny though because the, the mobility between certain characters is so. Yeah. Also um, the scale. That little little woman just ran up to you. And it's very clear that you're big. Yeah. People, kind of, you really are a juggernaut. It doesn't, like, it doesn't convey that in those. All right. So I just got the battery. I stole I the battery from okay. them and put it into our thing. I don't know what splattered everywhere because you're a metal man. Like, <laughs> you know. I, we, I don't ask questions like that. I. Fluid. I don't ask questions I don't want to know the answer yeah, to. There you go. Uh, and this what guy's. Was, what was it in? I think it was in Titanfall. There was something like. Like the robots had to breathe or something? Or they had stamina? They're like, but why? You're a robot. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> We're scrambling around trying to get the battery here. Yeah. Oh, that is not the teammate. Oh, I ran out of ammo there. I dig that frowny face for the death. Yeah. It's, it's like a nice, like, there's plenty of, like, kind of gritty aggro stuff in here, but there's also, like, a layer of sort of... I don't know, revelry to do. Yeah, it, it takes itself, it doesn't take itself too seriously, which is nice. Uh, where did the battery go? Like, it got pulled out of the enemy thing, but they, nobody picked enemy it back up. Basically. An interesting thing about all the objectives in this game uh, is that 
Sure. It's not like something like uh, like you can move as fast as something like tribes at times. Like you can really get yeah, going. Yeah. Um, but everything has a shield around it before you can pick it up. So you kind of have to sit on points for you know ten or so seconds. Let the shield come down, and then you can pick up that thing. So there's not never a time in this game where you're just gonna like fly through the enemy base, grab a flag, and run away. Uh, That's interesting. That seems like like you see the shield right there. Okay. Okay, that's cute. Yeah, see the shield like starting to come down, coming back up now. So it, there, it's it's very much a game of like get to a point and like defend for a while, survive, and then fly out as fast as you can. Uh, well, it's also like that that brief kind of respite of vulnerability mm -hmm. where you're like, this is a game about going fast constantly. But you know, when you, when you stop, you're like you're partially like, hey, I, I can I can stop for a second, very. But at the same time, it's also like that's. When you're Powerful Seven is uh, asking what your favorite class was. Yeah, you said it was the Wraith. The Wraith right now, uh, but I'm, I'm still playing so, around with a lot of stuff. Let's see. You were playing. You shut off Juggernaut. What are you playing right now? This is the Juggernaut. It's still Juggernaut. Which I, can, okay. I can switch off of this. After. Uh, what's the Harrier like? The Harrier uh, is interesting. Oh God. There we go. Ah. Uh, the Harrier is like this is the one that I was playing that was like basically Iron Man. Uh -huh. um, you can fly a lot, and especially in the maps that have a lot of low gravity. Um, you can just stay in the air for a really long time That's cool. because it's lasers, uh, the laser boots recharge. Laser boots? Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, like, if you right. shoot back oh, up, whoa, okay. you can actually, like, use that to propel yourself and attack. Oh, I like you seeing the see legs. Nice. <laughs> um, yeah, the Harrier is, is in levels like this where it's um, got a huge low gravity section, you can basically just stay flying the whole time. Which I guess the name Harrier. I was watching videos of Harrier jets on YouTube the other day. I highly recommend everyone go do that after the stream because it's a good time with those jets doing all kinds of stuff. Very exciting vehicle. <laughs> uh, I'm actually uh, I'm keeping an eye on the chat on Twitch and on YouTube and of course the hashtag IGN plays live. Uh, if you have any questions about the game, uh, rude comments. Uh, you could talk about your favorite of the outfits of these colorful shooting folks in the game. Really, just anything. Just put whatever you want in the chat or on Twitter, and we'll take a look at it. Because that's how this works. Uh, and friendly reminder, we are giving away an MSI prize pack, which has a gaming keyboard, headset, backpack, and a super genius mouse. Just head to go.ign.com slash plays live MSI. And uh, you know, there's also links in the description. That's that's really it. You can just go check it out and get free stuff. And uh, you know, hang out with us while we're playing video games. I'm really curious how this controls with a uh, controller. Yeah. And you're, I mean, obviously you're pr predominantly PC guy. So I would not keyboard, even, yeah. yeah, I would not even be the person to be able to tell you that. God, spinning around these things is just so ridiculous. That looks great. It's really, really fun because you don't, like, you don't have to do anything to stay yeah. in orbit. And then as soon as you pull away. They have to figure out how to hit you. Yeah. But I have to figure out how to hit them at the same time. There you go. This is another kind of, what, what feels like maybe like a more standard character within the roster called the Vanguard. Um, basically, just you have like rocket boots and a chain, a minigun. Makes sense. And, yeah. Uh, isn't there also an enforcer? Is that the one? The yeah, that? the enforcer is also kind of like your. People cool. were saying that's kind of the basic assault class. Yeah, Vanguard is kind of your your basic aerial assault class, and enforcer is your basic more ground. He doesn't really right. have. You've got a double jump, and that's it. Right. Uh, a double jump and a sprint. And which one? Which one's the sort of most medic type class? Uh, the the one called like, I think it's called a battle medic. Okay. Um, and now, so there there are, I think there's eight characters total? Nine. Nine, okay. And there were eight, and they added the Harrier. Okay. And then there, there are also, there are characters, but there are classes, so it's like the idea of good, good guys and bad guys. Yeah, the Law and the Breakers. I get it. Clever. Um, and so there's the nine classes, and depending on which team you are, you're one of, you're the character equivalent on that class, or on that team. So if you're the Harrier, there's a Law Harrier and a Breaker Harrier. Gotcha. But they, they're, Functionally identical. They just have different silly little voice lines. And stuff like that. So, uh, Mag Neiman, which is a good name, on YouTube said people people literally complained about the lack of cartoony butts from Overwatch. I gotta say, yeah, 
they don't the the butts are kind of lacking here. They could they could go way crazier with the butts. Everything everything in the game, I mean butts aside, like most of the character designs are like pretty I think the word might be like subdued. Like it's all there's this crazy lightning face guy and he's kind of like as radical as you get. Uh -huh. um, he looks like a member of Slipknot. I don't know how I feel about <laughs> He kind of does, yeah. That's a bit much. I think I saw somebody cosplaying it this image. Is this, this guy, guy with, yeah. I'm not, I don't even know what the Those are uh, is. tactical eyebrows. Yeah. Um, and wh I, I got a couple staff drops too, so we can Sweet. pull those open after this match. Uh, the Wrangler says, can you customize each class like the characters? How much, yeah, there's there's visual customization, but in terms of like actual like. Yeah, there's no, there's no ability weapon customization. Really? That okay. is not cosmetic. So it's, there's cosmetic weapon skins and that sort of stuff. But there's no, um, each, like, role, as they're called, each role is that role. So when you see them on the battlefield, you'll know exactly what they are. Uh, you, you don't have to guess yeah. what items they have. This is, this is another really fun character uh, called the Gunslinger. Um, he's got two guns. One is like a little first fire machine pistol, and the other is basically a sniper pistol. That's cool. The game doesn't really have a sniper character. Ooh, what was that? Hold on. He can blink also, so he's got kind of like I a... I dig it. Not to make the comparisons, but the, the tracer-like right. teleport. Yeah. <laughs> uh, somebody was asking, how does this compare in terms of like, how it feels compared to the watch? What is this? Faster? Uh, much faster, yeah. yeah. And it's much more, you, you die a lot more. Um, okay. Overwatch is, can be a lot of like, uh, Overwatch can be a lot of like, pushing objectives very slowly. This is, and maybe this is just because I'm terrible, but like, this is much more like run in and fight really quick. And it seems like there's less of an emphasis on teamwork in this case. I mean, obviously everyone uh, can kind of put their own on it, but. From I mean, what I can tell, yeah. Overwatch um, is very clearly more about like, here are your different classes. Who's doing what? Yeah, and it's 5v5. Um, which actually feels surprisingly intimate with this game for me. Like, I would, I would be interested to try it in a, in a world where it's like, you know, twelve or twenty person servers. I think that would be really yeah. cool. Yeah. It's kind of it's kind of odd to jump in a game and five v five. Yeah. That's like, it feels like quaint. You know, it feels like kind of low key. Almost. It is. <laughs> and and I, I think part of that is that they. I've never been, as far as I know, you can't get matched into a game that's in progress. Like, you, it, it brings back that kind of old school uh, PC feel of, like, you're going to sit in a server for a little bit. You're going to kind of know the people, uh, or not a server, but, like, a queue. And you'll, like, know the people who you are playing with by the end of it. That's cool. Um, you'll have a chat that you can talk and call chat. And I'm really not doing well as the Gunslinger. I don't like the Gunslinger's eyebrows, so I'm okay with you playing with somebody else. This is one that kind of has been advertised a lot for the game is the assassin um, because she's got this. Oh, cool. Which you can do like three times before you have to recharge it. Well, that gets you halfway across the, across the map, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, it does. And this is, this, so this is one of the turf war points. We're back on turf war. Uh, what was that thing you just smashed? Uh, that was a health pack that an enemy player had spawned. So this is She's really hard for me, though, because she's totally she has a shotgun as a secondary weapon, but she's almost entirely a melee character. Uh, she's got these knives yeah, that, yeah. that you can combo. If you get three hits in a row, you actually like do more damage with each hit. That's cool. I love I love in theory that kind of sort of you know deep like real time like situation, but I never actually been able to pull that off. Yeah. Like the sort of kill streak mentality, I'm not good enough at games to Get those. No, yeah, this is, this character is definitely one that we're getting actually destroyed here. It's eleven to one right now in this yeah. turf war. Well, the game has been out for um, like like thirteen hours, so <laughs> at this point, it's, we're already we're overpowered by the pros. Yeah, they're already miles ahead. It's going to get brutal in like two <laughs> weeks. There's just going to be people who are like uh, sleep at the wheel. Here, I'll show you this guy too. This uh, or where is he? The Titan. Uh, Titan is your. He's got a rocket launcher. He's your, your quake guy, kind of, except he can't fly or, nice. or um, doesn't have too much mobility. Usually what they do is they sacrifice health for mobility, right? So, or, or vice versa. So yeah, if but you, he's, got a, he's got a... He does. And if you if you have a character that has a triple jump, like, they're only going to have 300 health. But if you have a character that 
doesn't have any sort of extra mobility or not much, then they're probably going to have five or six. And this guy's got just that slam, and that's it. All right, so it looks like this round's about to end. Oh, no, not quite. So I'm just going to try to stay on this point, this C point, and actually cap one. Um, but the problem is now we have to stop them from capping both. <laughs> we have to stop them from capping two because you, you win at 16. So this mode is actually pretty cool in how it like it, it, it splits your attention, which is harder in a in a solo game. I like that. Game. Yeah, that actually requires some teamwork with those strangers to pair up with. It does. So we got one. Two points. We're on the board. Ah, they got it. You lose. Yeah, I, I really, the, the mobile characters, like the characters that really click in how they can move across the map really, really fast, like, they really, really click. They really feel good when you, you figure out those, those routes, like a, with the Wraith on one level, you can do this slide, jump, 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 yeah. and then you're in the gravity, and then you just fly right into their base, and That's you can awesome. do that in, you know, five seconds. Yeah, one of my one of my big hang-ups with, uh, with competitive multiplayer is just that I always compare it to, like, gym class when you're out, and you're like, <laughs> oh, and it, it's gotten better with more recent years, but for, for a while there, it was like the respawn time was way longer, and uh, I love that that feeling of, like, once you're, once you're, you get killed, and you're back in the game, and it's just a matter of getting back out there, you know, mm -hmm. it just keeps you, keeps you busy. Uh, so to have it, you know, you're still you're st you still get spawned back at the you know back at kind of your, your team's side of the map, but like, yeah, to be able to just like slingshot back out there where you were is like a nice. It's not it's not wasting your time. You know? Yeah. Uh, so this is one of the loot stashes. You got uh, that. <laughs> yeah. Whatever that. And all right. You can't tell what these are. What? <laughs> so this one this one's pretty clear, right? It's just like a character skin. Okay. Um, Ooh. Nice and silver. And then these guys, this is like a profile uh, icon, ah, you know? Like an avatar. Um, and then these two are gun stickers. So this guy's kind of cool. It's just like a... Confident, spacey, and it's the hollow version of it. I like that. I like yeah. that they put holograms in this game. Yeah, the not, hollow not stickers like, are like... Not like the hollow kind, but like the 90s like skateboard. Uh -huh. Everybody's favorite, currency. Um, yes. Pegasus Metal. That's what my even... favorite genre of music. Oh, it's like a... Yeah, it's metal. I like it. It's not. It's not holographic. It's no. just glittery. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, and then no. these are also health hollow. So it's like a health container. And then what you can Those do? Are, yeah. You all can, right. You just put yeah, stickers on your guns. Yeah, pretty much. So you go down here and you say uh, primary weapon sticker. No. Oh, okay, I gotta see this. And there's like so, where the uh, where the Pegasus go? So now we have a. Um, Oh man. Okay. Yeah. So there's the Pegasus, kind of like shining there on the giraffe skin gun. I love. Okay, I love that. Like that's that is incredibly stupid, but it also is very funny because you've got these like aggro like law law breaking gravity gun people, but they're putting stickers on their guns like <laughs> they're like your sixth grade CD player. Yeah, it's like middle school all over yeah, again. Yeah, that's adorable. Put a little holographic. Yeah, I think they're, I think they're gonna get very they're gonna get very silly with this game. Yeah, I mean like this is another thing is like. One of the cosmetics for every character is kick decals. So the melee in the game is a kick. Huh. And if you kill someone with a melee, it puts this footprint on their screen. So you can unlock different, like, boot prints. That's and a nice Every a character, nice But every character in the game has 13 unique footprints you can unlock. It's very well, strange. that's a different way of interpreting digital footprints. So there you go. <laughs> Yeah, so there's like I said, there's just the one quick match button right now. They're not, they don't have any uh, right. any rank. Well, while you're waiting for a match, I figured I would plug our giveaway. We are giving away a big old MSI prize pack for all sorts of PC gaming necessities, such as a gaming keyboard, headset, a backpack, and a super genius mouse. I like that. Mine's a genius mouse. Anyway, just go to go.ign.com/playslivemsi. I'm looking off a second monitor that has that written down because my brain has holes in it. Uh, we also have a link in the description, and a uh, friendly reminder, I'm keeping an eye on the Twitch and YouTube chat, as well as hashtag IGN Plays Live on Twitter. So go in there, and uh, I, I don't know, say hello, whatever. That's it, that's it. That's it you know? Be kind. Yeah, be kind. <laughs>
So you're reviewing this, right? I am. Uh, how do you review something like this? Because it's a uh, obviously it, it, you have to play it when it's out in the wild. You yeah. Can just, you know. Yeah. No. It's just like it's it's a lot of uh, a lot of playing it basically, right? Okay. Like it, it's it's the type of game like and especially games that just have multiplayer are the type of thing where you just got to keep playing it and play it till you're actually good in some sense. And now with something tricky like this is. is if you give it a score and then two weeks later they're like, hey, we added uh, four new modes and eight, mm-hmm. eight new characters. Like, what do you do in that? Do you go back and, and revisit it? Or? Well, that's that's also just becoming more increasingly more common, right? Like, Overwatch has shown that they've just been doing updates like every two months yeah. or whatever for, for a full year now. Um, I think that's just kind of the trend, right? Like, is... is Games, games as a service is what people are calling it. I, I feel know? like that's 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 kind of almost a mean way of looking at it. You know? uh-huh. Also, service doesn't sound fun. No, it doesn't. Yeah. I don't. I want my games to be games, not services. Yeah. But at the same time, if that means they're getting updated, like I guess that's okay. I think like games as a community is better. That's nice. Some marketing guy is like scrambling to write that down. <laughs> uh, Eureka. So this is the battle medic. Which is a character, the I think the only character that can directly heal characters. So you can, um, like I just gave her a shield, and now she can heal. She, she also has, she has kind of a grenade launcher here. She's got a grenade launcher, which you can either do explode on impact or like let the balls like bobble around a bit. Nice, nice. Um, and then she's got a jetpack uh, that Five, runs out of fuel four, very, very quickly. Three, That's no fun. Two, one. <laughs> this is a level I think we already saw. Oh, this is the occupy mode. Though. Um, Occupy is kind of a shifting king of the hill. Um, All right. So a space will open up. You have to control that space with your team for a certain period of time. And yeah. Then, and then it moves to the next one. And then it will. Then well, what it'll do is you, it'll be open for 45 seconds. Every second you control it, you get a point, mm. and the first team to get to 200 points wins. Oh, okay. So the the spot, the king of the, the hill spot, is moving around the map, and you and your team have to kind of run around and. Defend it as you go. All right, somebody named Hugh said, saying this is like Overwatch is like saying Overwatch is like League of Legends. Don't uh, I'm not sure what, I mean, <laughs> sure. That's, that's not, not a terrible comparison. Yeah, I mean. Might be a little, little bold, but yeah. definitely not terrible. It's definitely, I would not call this game Overwatch like. Not in any way that another shooter does not. Right, like it, it, it's a shooting game. That's kind of where the comparisons, character-based shooting game. I mean, a hero shooter is effectively a MOBA with shooter mechanics, and I mean, we've seen, you know, we've seen Overwatch. We there was there was Battleborn for a second there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel like there was a mode in, in Call of Duty that kind of tried to tap into that. Maybe like streaming that. And then there's there's this, and then there's um, uh, Agents of Mayhem is. Doing hero shooter type of thing, mm-hmm. and I feel like Star Wars Battlefront 2 is going to lean very heavily into that. And have a heroes versus villains that is fully fleshed out. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean it's a thing that it one takes off and then people jump on it. And, you know, it becomes a sort of a trend in the industry. That's how that works. Yeah, it's it's been interesting to see kind of uh, each like the genre evolve. Too, right because because yep. it didn't start out where it was just like everything's like overwatch but suddenly that comparison has been made a lot more oh my goodness my entire team just got blown up yeah. i mean the reality is that you know video games are, are a business and, yeah uh, when one thing is successful a lot of people go let's do that too and that <laughs> doesn't always work out well but occasionally you know occasionally it does I'm, one thing i'm really excited about is the inevitable Back deluge of games ripping off <laughs> PUBG. uh-huh because uh, i i mean that's a game that i feel like kind of flourishes on a little bit of like weird wonkiness to begin with yeah it does so if we get a bunch of like <laughs> i don't even know what i expect from that. you're like you're like flying around here yeah this character uh can hover for a really long time as soon as you start going up or down he wastes all of the fuel nice. i like the uh it, these are just like orbs Okay. Yeah, those are your healing drones, oh, okay. um, which are not doing me much good right now because I'm not actually healing my allies. Uh, but you can se- you can send those out to people, um, and and it'll give them a little bit of a temporary shield and then heal them up. Uh, Chaz says PC podcast coming to ING pulls Tom. <laughs> he's he's in such desperate need of a PC podcast. He's can't even type our name right. Uh, yeah, what are the odds of that? Uh, I'm hoping. That's that. I, I mean, 
be like let it be known that yeah. I've heard the cries. People yeah, send me I mean, messages on Twitter a lot about yeah, wanting dude. to do a PC podcast. I, mean, I host a PlayStation show and we we have a shortage of games some weeks, but that's not a problem with you know, PC stuff. It so. is not. There's always something to talk about. So, so like, yeah, if anything, that's a problem. There's too much stuff to talk about. Yeah, <laughs> it's really it's kind of crazy how how many games come out. I think it's still like over a dozen games a day on Steam. Um, which is just nuts. Like that's a that's a huge amount of games. It's yeah, it's, it's got to be pretty scary. To make, to... Yeah, I mean, God, I I don't have any developers trying to release stuff right now. I mean, even even right now, like this time of year is always kind of sort of traditionally known as like the lull, right? Like that summer lull in games. Yep. And, it's and like, then nope, no, sorry, not this year. Expiring. Um, uh, especially with also, I mean, you know, games as a service or games that just <laughs> get perpetual updates. Uh, you're still playing the games yeah. that came out this time that's last year. That's fine. That's totally okay. I mean, I feel like that's how, like, people actually play games. And we're, you know, part of our job to stay up to date with everything. So, that, there's that kick. There's wow. the shoe. You're, you're, it says you're a loser. I've heard that before. You're a big loser. Yeah. That guy kicked you with a shoe, and he said, that's very mean. Yeah, but he slowed me down. That wasn't fair. That's that guy's ultimate, is, like, he shoots out these, these rays that, like, make everything you do slower. Um, so you reload half as fast, you move half as fast, you fire half as fast, and it, it, it's the type of ultimate that you use it and you can still just die, or you can use it and just completely whiff, and you're like, all right then. Now, I just was thinking about this. If he kicked your screen and it said loser on it, that means that his footprints would say loser backwards. Which, so <laughs> yeah, if, if that takes went, thought. If he went to the, the beach, he'd just look like he had really stupid shoes on <laughs> Maybe he's the loser after all. Walking through the sand, yeah. spelling loser everywhere. See, that's like I kind of, I kind of hope they start making those shoes. And just go and leave food messages. And say. I would probably buy shoes that say loser at the bottom, but I don't kick people in the face very much, so it would be wasted a little bit. Yeah, I feel like if you kick somebody in the face, they're mostly just going to see like I don't know red or whatever the color of blood in your nose is. Just go, you know, I'm generally, stars. I'm generally on the, on the. the the side of not kicking people in the face, but yeah. you know, it's it's a c- considered one of the meaner things you can do. Uh, <laughs> it, it's up there, yeah. Face with your foot. <laughs> <laughs> one of the top ones there's in really, that very specific category. There's not really a ton of nice stuff you can do with your feet to someone's face, depending on what they're into. Yeah, um, we'll leave it at that. The interesting thing about this mode too is that uh, the the. The zones, the Occupy zones, will swap sides a lot. So, like, sometimes they'll be on, um, like, in your base, basically. And then they'll swap to the enemy's base the next time. So it stays relatively even, but it's just interesting that, like, there are moments where you could be about to win, and then the thing just spawns, like, as close to you as it possibly can. And it's like, all right, that's... Now, sealing it up. Do you think it's is it totally randomized or is it? No, it's got an order, which okay. I really like. So you can predict it. Okay. So you know, okay, the next zone is activating. I, it so, was just here, wow. so I know exactly where to go. I was going to think that it was, it was some kind of like a matchmaking algorithm or something. But if it's if there's an order to it, that's sort of terrifying. Yeah, you and and it'll be even more terrifying too when when people uh, start getting really really good right. at this game. Right. So you could time your death to surprise people, basically. Uh, sorry. So, like like you're. We say the, the respawn point is like no, no, a, no. Excuse me, the the occupy point. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, the occupy point is always, uh, always in, in order. So you right, can right, right. you can do these things where like the point will close because it's only open for forty five seconds or whatever. The point will close and then you'll and um, then just book it to the next one. Yeah, you'll just gotcha. go, your whole team if you're good and you're playing with experienced people can just converge on the next point um, before it's even there. Yeah, I mean you're running around and just kind of like you're just. I mean you're talking to me. You're not you're not on the mic or anything. But I feel yeah. like if you get more friends together and really, I mean, it could get pretty brutal out of there. Yeah, it, it's it's a type of game where I can feel I can feel how high the skill ceiling is gonna be, right? Like everyone's pretty fresh at it. Everyone's pretty new. Uh, not a lot of like pro strats have been developed yet. Um, but once that stuff starts coming in, it's really like people are gonna be really good at this. Game. Yeah. Especially just the movement stuff. Like this level is it, kind of disappointing because it doesn't have any of the zero G stuff. Mm-hmm. But like. The movement, the the potential for movement in those zero G areas is just sort of nuts. I mean, I love seeing those those gifts online of like people you know threading a loop with that donut GTA, like just stuff where you're like, it 
it's like a tiny detail in a level that somebody just practices repeatedly and mm -hmm. get it down. I mean, Titanfall was great for this. Uh, this is a game that, that, you know, puts a huge emphasis on just on traversal and on And it's not to say that other games don't, but that's kind of, uh, I don't know, there's sort of a dance to it. Yeah, there is. And it's interesting, too, how it affects certain characters. Like, this character has... Uh, a grenade launcher and you kind of need surfaces to bounce grenades off of and send at people and explode on and doing that in aerial scenarios is really really tricky so it's, it's just something you've got to get you know it's really got a lot of potential there we're doing okay this match though 150 yeah. to 77 uh din grand Weeking says i wish there was more anti-grav mobility uh, i completely agree so far and and Keep in mind, I've only been playing, you know, like, probably played like four hours at this point. Right. Um, it's really disappointing that kind of, oh, I'm spawn camping them. Kind of um, but I didn't kill anyone anyway, so it's all right. Uh, I 100% I agree with that so far. It, the whole point of the game, where it feels like kind of what the game is built around is these low grab areas, and then there's like yeah, I mean, not a whole lot of it. That's sort of the selling point there. Like the uh, fact that there's a, there is this level where there's basically none. Uh, is just I like I I just don't understand why I guess oh uh, I mean, I, I, maybe some people just sort of want to play a more vanilla match just treat it like a regular shooter I guess yeah yeah I suppose that's that's one of the main reasons uh, it, something that'll help I think is once there's like a ranked queue and a non-ranked queue like hopefully they'll start curating maps and modes a little more is there any class I haven't played yet enforcer oh yeah I like I picked them up for like three seconds and then. So this guy is the, the one that's kind of like the basic ground guy. He's got a sprint, he's got a rifle, he's got a grenade that disables people's abilities. Um, and his his ultimate is a big rocket launcher. All right, so for those of you just tuning in, uh, we are playing Lawbreakers, which is nine characters, eight maps. Uh, seven or eight, I'm seven not sure eight, which. And there's like five, five modes. modes and Yes, there's a bunch of stuff you can do with it. It's 30 bucks. It was originally free to play. They changed that. There are, you know, cosmetic upgrades and, I guess, microtransactions, but, like, they're not going to screw up your game. Yeah. Uh, the microtransactions are literally just buying the stash boxes, which are only cosmetic. Yeah. I mean, if that's what if that's what it takes to keep a game, like, price point down, then that's totally bad. Yeah. There we go. Hey, the zone just spawned on me. And hey, hey, there you go. Nicely done. You got the smiley face. He's still dead. Mm -hmm. He's the king of being dead and smiling. Cartoon faces do not have it good in this game. Uh, now, somebody was saying uh, in the chat, I might have lost his name here, uh, but complaining about the character designs being mm -hmm. sort of faux edgy and just sort of generic. Uh, I've been historically very, like, very critical of uh, character designs and stuff that Flip Wazinski's attached to. Uh, I'm totally fine with these. I think they're, like, a little bit, like, I wouldn't say they're faux edgy. I think the fact that they're holographic unicorn stickers to put on your guns <laughs> is, like, a nice balance. Because they they very clearly were like, what's this universe? What do the people in it look like? But let's give players at home the opportunity to make them look dumb and purple. Yeah, I mean, like, this is my profile icon. Yeah. It's like smiley face um yeah for me the problem i have with them i guess is that it feels like they kind of are like on the fence a little bit about which way they want to go it's like sort of halfway between ut's more like generic looking just like you're a fighter guy and halfway between that and like overwatch's very distinct character designs yeah i mean it's, like it's, this it's, one's a really good example it's very tricky to this okay, yeah this character is like a really generic like robo soldier but then they put a heart on her so that she like has a little bit of character put into it right, right. and that beyond that like heart and the heart ability because her, her laser beam actually has a heart too okay. beyond that like that there's not really much else to the character right. well let's say they start you know rolling in haircuts and hats and you know stickers right. to put on everything else and uh, a limited edition totino's like skin for her armor or whatever like uh I think that with, with multiplayer games, there's always, there's there's the picture you have to put on the box. And you see this with games that allow any kind of customization. Like the fact that, uh, I mean, you think of Dovahkin, you think of like Iron Armor from Skyrim because that's the guy they put in the trailer. But in reality, most people are wearing something else. You look at, you know, Link in Breath of the Wild. He's 
not everyone wears that tunic. You frequently wear something else, but like with any kind of game that allows customization, like I don't know, people people get strange with it. I'm I'm really curious what they're gonna do with uh, with Call of Duty uh, WW2 because Call of Duty has become this weird colorful neon thing that allows players to have like Hello Kitty M4s and like weird <laughs> you know dongles hanging off of their their guns and stuff. But like, are we gonna see people with like just in, in running through like Normandy beaches with like weed guns. Like what? What's that gonna look like? <laughs> Is there gonna be a Snoop Dogg voice pack for you know Battle of the Bulge? <laughs> How do you like? I don't know. It's it's a. It's I mean, odd... I'd buy it if yeah, there is. It's a it's a <laughs> borderline uh, problematic quantity. But, yeah. Uh, I think by having something that is sort of fictional and, and strange, it's it's colorful either way you slice it. Uh, you know, let's. It, it, they're not. It's not. Uh, breaking the illusion of a, of a realistic future by having something like hologram No, yeah, this game is definitely not going for, for realism, I wouldn't say. We're about to play the Blitzball mode, too, so this is the one where we're, we're going to oh, hear cool. okay. uh, Justin Roiland's voice lines as, as the ball. It's a very, very strange thing. It actually, like, makes me like the mode more, too. Yeah, I mean, if that's, if that's any indication of the direction Five, we're going with this and the four. fact that you're Currently dressed like a super Two, soaker. Uh, I'm pretty okay with that. Carry the ball to the enemy goal Where is he? You can see the ball with the little smiley face up there too. Ooh, laser. Where'd the ball go? Oh, they All dove right. right in. YouTube comments are arguing about PC hardware. Uh, Xbox, but uh, let's see what Twitch is up to. Uh, uh, Jules M says that you brought your I'm on camera bow tie. That's nonsense. You've been wearing a bow tie since I met you. Yeah, uh, Jules. Jules should know better too. I think I recognize that name, so he knows I always yeah. bring my my bow ties. I think the bow tie. You also uh, you also brought pies yesterday. You brought some lovely blueberry pies. I did. Yourself. Yeah. They're all about pies and ties, and I like it. <laughs> you know, I think actually you're the first person to say that, put uh -huh. those together. Um, not the like it part. I hope <laughs> people have said that before, but can't be too sure. Enemy um, yeah, this is, I, I don't know, this bow tie is like, not particularly camera friendly. Ah. Well, it's good. It's not too busy a pattern. It's not going to oh, yeah. moray out or anything. Simple green. Yeah. Uh, how, many, how many bow ties do you have? I've lost count, like 40. Okay, yeah. I've got a similar problem with Hawaiian shirts. Where's the ball? Oh, it's like loading. So, like, here's an uh, interesting thing. Like, to get the ball, you actually have to stay in the air to, like, get the shield that's down. Kind of, that's kind of nuts. Like, that's, like how, that's how, sort of like how real, real balls work. If they're floating. But it's interesting because it doesn't really feel like a real like basketball type game because it's got that shield. Mm -hmm. So since there's that shield, you can't just like drop the ball or pass it to someone. Like you have to. Ah. Um. Uh, Tyler Wong asks, "Is Lawbreaker split screen on the PS4?" I'm willing to guess no. Yeah, I'm not sure. I haven't played it on PS4 yet. I, could, I mean, we could. Uh, yeah, not sure. I, I would doubt it. It just seems like kind of way too. Uh, timing focus for that to be running. Yeah, uh, I've heard reports too that people are having like frame rate and lag, or one of the two issues on PS4. Um, so there's some performance problems, but they've they've addressed it. Yeah, it came out this morning. So yeah. Um, yeah. Bosky has said, you know, we're we're aware, we're looking at it. They're, I mean, they're. They're not stupid. Like this no. is not their first rodeo. Um, I mean, it's, technically, it's their first rodeo. I mean, it's, but... it's their first rodeo. But yeah, there's a, there's a certain amount oh. of pedigree. It's interesting how many more uh, how many more games we're seeing like that too, or developer like companies where it's like made up by a core of people that have worked on huge, huge things, but they're releasing their first game. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of that is is the sort of Know, there's there's the crowdfunding angle. There's also the fact that you don't need, you don't necessarily need like a, a kind of brick and mortar marketing campaign to get the word out. But 
could mm -hmm. publicize it. Um, I'm fascinated by the uh, by by the new uh, I don't know, tournament because that's they've been very like transparent about the development. Enemy they've been like, showing off like the community and they, they what they're doing. Yeah, they have. Uh, which is cool because that's kind of like a nice throwback to how you know, people used to be making like I don't know custom skins of like porn stars and Judge Dredd and stuff. <laughs> Skeletons running around. Uh, ammo! Thank you. Goodness gracious. Running out of ammo in this game, or having to reload, is terrifying. Because there's no ammo. You can never run out of ammo. Um, so when you... Uh, so when you actually do... Uh, like, when you run out of a clip and you have to reload, it, it's just like a really, really tense moment. Especially with a shotgun where you're reloading one bullet at a time. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Mark Rolling Day on Twitter asks using the hashtag IGN Plays Live is Lawbreakers cross platform between PS4 and PC? It is not. I believe Cliff Lazinski came out himself and said that uh, cross play is stupid or something. <laughs> He's very blunt about it. He's like, that's a terrible idea. I'm not doing it. Uh, and, uh, he also asked. When will the review be live on IGN's Lover? Did you have a DTA on that? Uh, yeah, so we're going to have a... I'm gonna hurry have... up over there? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. Uh, we, I, I mean, I want to make sure I actually, like, play it enough to give an impression. Uh, I'm going to have sign of, kind of a review in progress early thoughts on Thursday, um, and then probably we'll spend the weekend with it before I, I put a final final number on it. Cool. And if you're, like, I don't know, weirdly impatient, and you have 30 bucks, it's also out, so you can just go get it. Uh, don't be mad at Tom. On uh, on crossplay, it's interesting that that's becoming more uh, of a thing, right? Like, um, people are like talking about that more and more, especially with Windows 10, like kind of bridging the gap for Xbox. But like, yeah, you can't you can't put mouse and keyboard people into a queue with controller people and, and expect it to go well. That was a nice little flip you did there. That was, that was me dead. I, I thought it was good. You did like some cool. Oh god, I got a double kill and then immediately died. I love the little one step back. the little smiley uh, smiley ball. He's a cutie. Yeah. He'll tell you what's going on and there's a shot clock on the ball. So if it if it stays out in the open for too long, it will um, Actually, I'm about to die. You'll see right now. Yeah, uh, if you do that, you The ball. So I that, there was a reason I did that. The ball has a shot clock on it, so if it uh, if the shot clock runs out, the ball just explodes. And if you're holding the ball, it kills you. Oh, so I, I picked it up and I just jumped off the edge because I wanted to make sure that there was no way another person would kill it and grab it and put it in right before. You a team player. My KDA is low enough right now. I don't I don't mind lowering it a little more. Ball got dropped. And I'm just going to try to play defense, because they only need to score one more time. To... People are asking if this could be a sports thing. I mean, it totally could, but I think it that, you know. depends on the community, right? Like, yeah. it depends on if people actually start playing it. Um, hey, I got the ball. Just trying to get it away from our base. I really wish there was some way to throw it. Like pick it up and like toss it to a teammate. Yeah, that'd be cool. I feel like they could they could also probably like kind of add that in maybe. I don't know. I mean it seems like it could be a different game mode, yeah. Yeah. Rotti on YouTube says I could revolutionize this game with one simple concept. They need to make left right roll a constant thing to consider. That sounds fun. So like twisting in midair? So, yeah, oh like, man. Like I mean, that's also a good way to make everybody cute, but <laughs> that could also be fun. Yeah, so... Roller coasters make people cute, and everyone loves those. I, I suppose that is... Yeah, yeah. VR roller coaster games, that's the next step for this. Um, VR, oh my god, this game in VR would be yeah, nuts. Yeah, uh, that, sounds, that sounds like a, a bit much. <laughs> I don't know if that would work out so hot. Uh, all right, Sounds like way too much. Friendly reminder, guys, while we're waiting to get into a match, uh, we are giving away a big old pack of PC stuff from MSI. That includes a gaming keyboard, headset, a backpack. It doesn't have to be a gaming one. It's made for gaming, but you can put all kinds of stuff in there, like juices and apples and snacks and whatnot. 
And then, of course, a super genius mouse, which is uh, a mouse that they put in a maze and it was able to escape. I'm just kidding. It's a computer mouse for PC game. Uh, just head to go.ign.com slash plays live MSI or check out the link in the description. Our good producer Mitchell is nice enough to put a picture of it there. That's what everything looks like if, if it, you Photoshop it together. We didn't actually stage that. We don't know how to make headphones float like that. It's very tricky. Uh, but yeah, go check that out. The other thing that's interesting is you, uh, as, as I've been noticing over the last day, is anybody with this little profile icon, it's the first time they've played or they, they've... So go after them? Yeah, pretty much. Get, we're going to get you, Pudding Pig. I have two of them on my team, though. Come so. on, Josh and Pudding Pig, we're going <laughs> to get you. Is that... Oh, that's uh, 4, 420... Toki Tilapia? Toki Tilapia. Tilapia like the fish? He's getting the, the freshwater bass stone. That's no good. Very bad for them. That does sound like something they'd have on a menu in San Francisco, though. Ah, so this is actually my favorite mode so far. Uh, on a map that is my favorite map. So this is really, really cool. Um, uplink is kind of like the overcharge mode where you have to charge the battery, but instead, you're fighting over this one module. You try to get it and then plug it into your base, and it fills a bar for your team. And then the enemy team can steal it back and start filling a bar for their team. And the first person or first team to fill their bar three times wins. Um, and then this is also one of my favorite maps because kind of all of the maps have followed the same pattern of like flanking path without gravity and then center area with zero G um, or with without the gravity effects and then center area with zero G. And this map is really, really cool because it's just a big open space. Um, it's like, it reminds me of, I can't remember the name of it now. Um, it reminds me of this one Unreal map with uh, the one with the, someone in the chat might know, the one with the bridge in the center and the two oh, yeah, large opposing, towers. Opposing worlds? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that map, that map rules. So this kind of reminds me of that. Not to like, you know, give it that level of uh, pedigree or whatever, but it does remind me in, in, in play stock. Ah. Because you've got these two very open bases. Um, and like then this, this peaking kind of center, and there's almost all low gravity in the center of the map. God, I missed that map. That was such a cool one. That's, yeah. Is that the only map I distinctly remember? I think it is. So they have the uplink in their base now, and that guy is the sniper dude, so he's going to hit me real, real bad. I'm going to try to flank in. Uh, Zumbie says, game is fun as hell, just needs more content. Had more fun with it than Overwatch. Also very laggy on PS4. Uh, yeah, I think the, the lack of content and the lag are things they're probably working on. Seems very much like they are going to kind of keep it away at this. Good lord, I have one health. Uh, CocoBeans95, underscore 95, whatever it says, IGN sucks. Uh, yeah, well, you know, you're watching our Twitch stream, so thanks for tuning in. You could go literally anywhere else on the internet, or just go outside. But you're here, so thanks for joining us. Mean, mean man. Uh, for everyone asking, yes, uh, Justin Roiland voices the ball in Blitz Ball. It's, that it's anymore, what makes yeah. that mode fun, to be honest. So they're, they are at like 80% now. This is also a really cool map because you can. I'm probably gonna get myself killed doing this. Whoa! Ho ho ho! Okay. Like you can do a lot of stuff with it because it doesn't. It is pretty much empty below. You. Yeah. Enemy uplink is validating. Can't keep me grounded. One less. It's like skeet break. shooting. See, it does. It, it definitely would be very barfy, but at the same time, it does look like it would be funny. <laughs> I know, right? Even if it was just flying around like that. Hey, Mitchell, how are our microphones doing? Somebody's complaining. Not that that's. Enemy uplink connected. I don't know. Stefan Myers, what's wrong with our microphones? Being rude. Okay, I'll call you out. We're in the pipe. <laughs> Only slightly, I don't know anything about you. 
Yeah, Coco oh God. Beans 95 who was saying that IGN sucks, uh, said he didn't know that uh, I'd, I'd read it. Yeah, I read the chat. I'm looking at it right now. I'm looking at Twitch. <laughs> I'm looking at YouTube. Named and shamed. Yeah. I will drag you through the streets, young man. Get a public lashing. We're also on uh, on Twitter using hashtag IGN Plays Live. I don't know why I said it that way. I don't know say it. Plays Live? Plays Live. IGN Plays Live. IGN Plays Live. Oh. So they scored once. Christy says, I like the Unreal Tourney minigun. Yeah, the minigun is really good. This is an interesting minigun, too, because the longer you shoot, the more accurate it gets. That's not how anything works. Right. So you want to kind of, like, start shooting before you go into an encounter. Yes. That's like Jesse Ventura at Chubby's Lobby. No, he hasn't had Whoa. Um, it's interesting too because when you're firing in the low gravity zone, since you can sh you can shoot behind you, right? So like you can go like this and shoot behind you, and that will like move you that direction. Uh, but vice versa, if you're firing at someone, it will push you backwards. So you can get into these firefights where like suddenly you're you're flying away from the enemy without meaning to. I I like that. Uh... Uh, they need to make a space map. They, like just a legit, yeah, that like, just seems like a no-brainer. Just like, like a, a zero G. Game. But I guess they need to add space battles. <laughs> I guess like the lore. <laughs> of, oh my good gravy! Oh, that person's having a bad day. Uh, Joe Cool NYC really wants to see me get my ass handed to me. Uh, yeah, maybe after this match. Yeah, sure. Let's jump in there. Uh, not gonna be very good with the mouse and keyboard, but I can give it a shot. Have a controller sitting around to try that too. <laughs> right after we brought up that you can't put them in the same queue. Oh my good goodness! That guy. So the guy that guy has this ability. That was the the juggernaut, I think it was. Um, big shotgun dude. He's got an ability where he's got fuel, like a lot of people do. Um, and it can either be spent on sprinting or making himself super hard to kill. Um, so he put on his armor, and it was draining his energy, but it also makes him very, very difficult to kill, and you kind of just have to, like, either plow through it or wait it out. That's a cool idea. Yeah, I, I love the, uh, they're like these sort of, you know, the, that sort of, that juggling act of, of good, good game design, of having to, like, figure out what you're, what you're using. I mean, it's like the you know, uh, stamina, basically, in a game. Mm -hmm. you, you ration that. All right, so we got the uplink now, and now it's our turn to defend. I really do love the completely nonsense logic of the more you shoot the gun, the more accurate it gets. Yeah, it, it doesn't make any sense, yeah. but it's then great. again, I mean, up is down and left is right, according to the gravity of this game. So. The moon broke. The moon that, did break. That, that explains the, that's it That's the plot of the game is the moon exploded. Yeah. They broke the moon, and now the guns get more accurate when you shoot them. Actually, it's just that gun, and it's, it's really nice because, um, you know, it, it takes that, that kind of classic trope of the minigun, which is you have to, like, rev it up, right? Um, that's how miniguns usually act is, oh, I want to get this guy. Ugh. Um, that's how miniguns usually act, is you have to, they start unrevved, and then you rev them up. Oh no. That's uh, one of the, one of the special, special moves from the other, or our game just crashed, whatever. Um, yeah, game just launched. Uh, we are going to restart that. Uh, while we are figuring that out. You want to swap? Or you want to get the controller in? a special in? appearance from Mitchell. Um, yeah, so uh, head over to go.ign.com slash plays live MSI. We are giving away an MSI prize pack, which is keyboard, headset, backpack, and super genius gaming mouse. So uh, go check that out. If you're watching on uh, YouTube, it's in the video description down below. One of the links down there. We got a cool buzzing noise. Sorry, guys. It happens. Um, I was going to lose that match anyway, so no skin off my teeth. Yeah. I think you did it. That was a good tactical retreat. <laughs> oh man, things are really bad. Mitchell's just leaving. Um, anyway, how yeah. are you? 
I'm, I'm all right. How are you? It's a nice Good, Tuesday. Okay. This guy named Stefan in the chat says something mean about me. Oh, but uh, other than that, I'm pretty good. Um, yeah, what are, you, what are you playing besides this these days? Uh, let's see. I, I, my guilty pleasure right now is still Hollow Knight. I beat that game 100% oh, yeah. at Hollow Knight, and I still have more to do. Like, it's the only type of game that you can get. Uh, the game can tell you you got 100% in it, and there's still probably like five hours of content you could be doing. That's weird. Yeah. It's, That's not how percentages work. I know. It's like kind of like Fez. You ever play Fez? Yeah. That game starts at 100% completion, and then you have to get to 200, yeah. basically. Uh, that game, I, I love Fez so much. Uh, that is the hardest game to jump back into if you take a break. <laughs> because the map is like modern art. You're like, what am I, where did I not go? Yeah. I don't remember. Uh, yeah, I just played um, I just played Little Nightmares. Did you play that at all? I didn't, actually, but I've heard so, only good things. So I think what it did wrong was it came out about a week and a half before E3 started. <laughs> so it completely just, I don't know, it just uh, passed me by. Um, it's very much like Inside or Limbo. Super creepy. It's like basically a, a kind of sort of narrow 3D platformer. Uh, not quite 2.5D because you can move kind of forward sometimes. Mm. Um, but it's uh, it's basically survival horror for kids. <laughs> uh, it's really like it's really creepy in like a very kind of like primal not like gory in your face type of way but more like i don't know like a like a scary part in a disney movie kind mm -hmm. of vibe or like 80s kids movies Dude, when i was young i could not watch fantasia yeah that's a scary movie yeah that whole like night in bald mountain sequence that's a that is a not terrifying okay scene this this feels like like james and the giant peach the the claymation um so we're hopping back into the game. We're going to be playing Lawbreakers in a second when things are working. Uh, Just about there. Here's Mitchell again. <laughs> they can't um, what are you doing? They've got to they've got to give us tokens if they want to see that. <laughs> anyway, for those of you just tuning in, here is Mitchell's ass. They can't see it. Da na 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 na. They can't. Right. They can't see it. Oh. Anyway. Um, Whoa. I oh, I just realized. Uh, uh, you, you might need to go grab my bag from my desk because I'll need to log in with Steam Guard, uh, and that's um, got my phone in there. Tom is a good PC gamer, and he uses Steam Guard to protect his credentials. Oh yeah, from cyber crooks. I mean, it's like you—you you remember when they first announced this? They first announced the two-factor authentication, and Gabe Newell uh, gave out his email, his account password, and name like publicly. And was just like, we have so much uh, faith in Steam Guard that it'll do this. And that was like before the world knew what two factor authentication like really was. And now it's just kind of like commonplace. Yeah. I'm That's really glad I didn't write that into the wrong field. Thank you. Let me grab this. Uh, so we got people asking about Agents of Mayhem. Uh, hmm. Are we doing a stream of that on Friday? Yeah. So um, we've got people here who've been playing that. So if you want to check that out, tune in. Uh, is that 1 o'clock? 1 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. Uh, same place. Uh, same, not, I mean, you know, like an hour and eight minutes ago. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, jump on that if you want to check that out. I've walked by a few people playing it. Uh, I'm, I'm curious, but ultimately just really bummed that it's not Saints Row 8 or whatever. Or like mm. a proper reboot of Saints Row. Uh, the Roman in YouTube chat says, I'm a cyber crook. Well, I'm telling the police. I will backtrace you, young man. And that will show you and put an end to your ways. Get that chatter's IP address quick. Yes. Don't I've, actually. I've hacked him. <laughs> You've been hacked. Uh, let's see. What's going on in Twitch? Thanks for bearing with us, guys. We had some uh, computer problems. Almost there. This game loads pretty quick, too. Sweet. Now you get to see the fancy... Ah. Uh. Next intro song. things, yeah. Unreal. So I, I want to point out, uh, I believe that Fortnite, which launched today, mm -hmm. no, like last couple weeks ago. Yes, it, weeks ago. It, yeah, it's it was, been in early access for yeah. a bit, yeah. Uh, that was the first Unreal 4 game announced. Right. I, and yeah. if five years later and change, here we are, and there are tons of games that are on that. Apparently, I did so well with that crash that I got a, a stash box for it. Oh, the game's apologizing to you. I love it. Oh, a little fire sticker. Got a fire emoji? What the hell? Look at that cute little robot. That's a pretty good one. Can little, put that on my around. put that on my gun. Yeah, I don't like honestly. I can kind of forgive the game for having like, you know, 
aggro armor plated shooter characters in it because it also is like, hey, you get a holographic robo sticker. I'm like, All right, <laughs> cool. There's like, if you, uh, there's a deal with Twitch Prime too, I think, where like people who have Twitch Prime get uh, exclusive skins and blah, blah, blah. But one of them is just straight up a Kappa. Like you can put a Kappa face really? on, your, on your guns. Yeah. That's a, uh, I don't know, self aware, I guess. Yeah. All righty. We're back in. Uh, is there any class or role that people want to see particularly or you would want to see? Um, or did you want to jump in? Uh, I you can try jumping in. Was, it, it was the plugging of the, of the controller what, what did us in last time, Mitchell? Oh, we, didn't, we just, it just exploded. <laughs> you no plug reason. it in and it just blows up. Yeah. It's a cool, it's a bugger feature. Uh, yeah, I can jump on there if you want to. Cool. I don't know if we have weird. Mayna, Mayna, let's 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 have you play around and then maybe okay, we'll figure it out. Uh, I love whenever we stream anything, people just jump in and start fights in the chat. It's very, very three, dumb. Two, one. Uh, yeah, the the like the conversation that tires me around this game is like the it's just Overwatch. Like I really like we could just be talking about what this game does well and yeah, and do, what it doesn't do well. Well, this one guy jumped in to just warn the world that Battlefield One is trash. Ah. Well, it, I don't know how to tell you this, buddy, but you're too late. It already came out, and it sold very well. And, uh, well, that's it. I have to warn everybody. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, almost. Almost got the double kill there. I am really interested to see if they're, if they're going to add weapon changes or weapon loadouts or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, that I don't, seems like... I think they would probably more likely add... Um, just new characters, Just right? new characters. Yeah, it seems like kind of that, that keeps it more exciting visually. And... But they've also done themselves a little bit of a... They made it a little more difficult for themselves because, you know, in other hero-based games want to add new characters, they just add a new character. But since every right. character has a law and a breaker version... Um, they have to. They have to do double the work every time they add a new role, basically. And there's only nine they, right now. They could always so. just make like uh, twins who hate each other. It's just <laughs> like like a Tomax and Zaymot kind of thing. The exact same yeah, model. That would be that would be pretty lame. Like a Bizarro and Superman. Uh -huh. I thought it was interesting that it took. Uh, I think they, I just saw they were like the Bizarro skin has come to Injustice too. I'm like, zone. you didn't. Zone oh, okay. You didn't just you didn't just have that already. Like just a scary. Superman that's backwards. So now I'm hanging out here because this is where the next zone is going to be. Okay, there you go. You're in the zone. That's the end of you. And that person swung by me. So you're playing as the... What's his face? The, the dreadlock guy? Bazooka? Or is it... Or is uh, it? Yes, dreadlock. Okay. Or no, I am the I am the other version. I am the law oh, okay, version okay. of that, um, which is her. Oh, okay. Bomb, yeah, I was going to say like... Bombshell? Bombshell okay. with a CH? Ah. I was um, going to say her, her being like... And that's the end of you. Is not the voice I imagine coming out of the other guy with the weird funny <laughs> gas mask hat. But. Yeah. They. It's interesting too to see the like similarities that they bring between the two characters. Like that guy has like weird robot hair, and she's got like dreadlocks. Um, so there are like, mm -hmm. even though they're different characters, there it lets are... you identify the class you're dealing with in the distance. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, let's see. Split spit face. Spitface, ew. Uh, Spitface92 on Twitch says, how important is team play and team comp, comp in this game? Uh, so it's hard to tell this early. Everyone is very new at the game. Um, and one of the things I think it's true with any team-based kind of shooter like this is that teamwork is bad when people don't know how to play very well. Um, I think the answer is it's not super important to just, like, playing the game and having fun and playing in solo queue. Like, Overwatch is, like, a really kind of a bummer game when you're paired with people who don't care and are playing yeah, well. that's kind of the vibe I've got. This seems much um, more like if you want to just do your own thing, okay. You totally yeah. can. That being said, I think you really, really can be rewarded for playing with a team and playing well with a team. I think that that'll, that's going to come into it as the game grows older and as there's, like, a rank queue, you're really going to start seeing... Like the people that are working as a five squad, but dominant. Yeah, and I mean, obviously, if you're, you know, if you're going in guns blazing and you have a medic who's actually paying attention to you. Yeah. You know, you're protecting them. It's 
that helps. Like, <laughs> well, and also another thing is like you only need one person in the zone to, to capture it, right? Yeah. So right now the, the mentality with a lot of teams is throw as many people into the zone as you can and just everyone stands in the zone. What you really could be doing later is have Dividing and conquering. one yeah. person stand in the zone and have everybody else really far up trying to defend it pro preemptively, you know? Oh, I missed it. I went to the wrong spot. Um, yeah, that's I think what we're going to see more of. The team comp thing is interesting because there's not really, there's not really uh, like classes or roles broken out. Like you know, there's not like healer, attacker, defender. Like there's none of that. Um, there are certain classes that heal or certain classes that support, but they're they're not like as vital. Like right. the battle medic seems really really good, but I don't think you like need a medic on your team to win a match. Uh, Zombie asked a question we answered already. Potential for this game to become an esports game. Uh, I mean, anything can be an esports game if enough people play it competitively. You know, he died. I saw. So there's a character that throws a knife on the ground and then it'll like blink and explode, and you can shoot it before that to get rid of the, the explosion. Um, and I was like, I killed two people, and then I turned and I was at barely any health, and I saw the knife on the ground, and then it blew up and killed me. That would have totally zoomed in on your face. If that was <laughs> yeah, basically. Mother. Uh, Hirsch Tanner says, wait, this game is out? Yes, this game is out right now. It is 30 bucks. So if, uh, I don't know, if you want to play a game with a friend and you have 60 bucks to buy one game, you could buy two games of this game and then play that game with your friend. Or, you know, hang out and wait until it's on sale. That's basically just how buying games works in general. Um, it's, it's the core concept of yeah, it. I appreciate them trying out uh, 30 bucks. It's interesting, another game that came out this week that we talked about extensively on Podcast Beyond here on IGN, plug, 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 uh, is Hellblade, said you was sacrificed, which is like a it's from Ninja Theory, uh, the guys who've done uh, the latest DMC. Four years ago at this point, uh, and Enslaved, and uh, Heavenly Sword, and it's like, it's their kind of first like self-published sort of indie game, and uh, I mean it's that's that game is like forty bucks I think 30, 40 bucks something like that, but Somewhere it's, it's not your traditional sixty dollar game, which is like sort of refreshing. This guy, oh, lightning hands, ooh, unlimited power, I, I love it. <laughs> Didn't go so well, but I got a kill out of it. Uh, Carter in our YouTube chat, is this game worth to buy and why? It sounds like a question on a test. Explain why or why not. Use complete sentences. Five points. Um, well, Tom, you're reviewing it. It's going to be up on Thursday, as you said. Review in progress. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have yeah. some thoughts on Thursday initially. Um, it yeah. Right now, I am enjoying it. Like, a really good sign was I played it last night, and then I, I woke up this morning, and I wanted to play more Lawbreakers, which that's is a, like... That's a good sign. Yeah, that yeah. is, like, especially when you're, you know, reviewing something, like... You want to be into the thing you're reviewing, and like I'm, I'm pretty into this game right now. Um, it's, it's got some problems that I'm not completely sold on, that are like maybe not completely sold on it yet. But it is like the actual core movement and the shooting and the characters in it are really fun. Yeah, no, it seems, it seems like it. Um, ah, it, the vibe I get is kind of like old school sort of Unreal Tournament with some modern sort of. It, yeah, shooter sensibilities, which it, is like it feels a lot like that. A little bit old, a little bit new, you know. It doesn't feel beholden to any of that stuff, too, which I like. Like it doesn't feel like they, like they could have easily put like rocket jumping in for everybody and stuff, but like only the character with a rocket launcher has a rocket jump. Um, it's not even like a rocket jump, right? Like you have to, you have to know how to rocket jump. Mm -hmm. Rocket jumping is such like a classic. Um, a classic shooter technique. <laughs> I'm doing pretty well on this person, actually, but I'll swap off to someone else. Let's try the gunslinger for a little bit. This is the guy who can teleport and it's kind of got like a sniper, sniper pistol. And the other one is a sort of regular pistol. Or... It's like a yeah, it's like a burst machine. Pistol. It's, a, it's a cool little loadout. Um, I am maybe biased in terms of shooter games in that I think that sniping or sniper rifles are, like, the worst 
Like, I really hate sniper rifles in do you, games. Do you suck at, at playing with them? Or? I'm not great, but yeah, it's, no, I... <laughs> <laughs> it's also just driven by, like, I really don't like a, that there's, like, a gun in a game that can just be, like, a long distance, hey, you're immediately dead. Um, and I like what they've done with, like, a sniper class in this, is it's this pistol that you have to charge up, so there's, like, a lead time on it, and it doesn't auto-kill, mm -hmm. you know? You can't just one-shot someone. So if you're going to be one-shotting people, you've got to be, like... You gotta be really good. Yeah, kind of pretty really much. Actually, oh, yeah. See, that's that sucks because that means that somebody who's really good has something that rewards them for being really good. Whereas if you're not <laughs> great, you don't have something you can lean on like a sniper rifle. Well, you got a guy with a big machine gun or, go, machine yeah. gun or a, a go rocket get the, launcher. Go get the noob stick. Yeah. Nub tub. This guy's also got a blink, and it's really interesting to. Like, he's going to get compared to Tracer, because of course he's going to get compared to Tracer um, for the Blink. But it's interesting to see the ways that it is or isn't like Tracer. Um, it's much more predictable. Like, it's a shorter range. You can There's a little bit of a lag time before you actually do Blink. Um, oh, this guy's going to murder me. Haha! -ha! I feel like that happens every time. Every time I get two kills, it's like, nah, you're, you've had your moment. Yeah, I like, I really, really do like that they put like a sniper kind of weapon and changed it. And they did that with a medic, the medic too. The battle medic has like a, a grenade launcher and is not really just like a passive healer. Like it's a fighter as well. That was the coolest sound effect I've heard today. That Which one like, was that? Whing! Oh. That kind of. I, that's that's the, the sound a lens flare makes in like Dexter's <laughs> lab. <laughs> that's um, this character's the gunslinger's knife, which you can throw out and it'll like reveal people in the area around it. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, Chris A on YouTube says one thing I'm sensing with this is the graphics are so detailed, it's information overload. It's almost impossible to keep mm. up. The simpler graphics of games 15 plus years ago. I thought about this a lot. Um, we're uh, Talking about this with and, and how like if you get to like some, you know, some, like people playing Halo on like on pro levels who are just like this is, like I'm playing as like I want to play as the blue team because we have more camo based on the lighting in this level or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean I played a bunch of, of uh, Star Wars Battlefront and that game is, the the levels are totally uh, tilted in favor of either side. Uh, I mean if you're playing as a bunch of white stormtroopers on Hoth you blend in completely, uh, and then. You know, rebels blend in better on Endor, whereas stormtroopers stick out like sore thumbs. Right. Um, it's, I mean, it's interesting because that didn't used to be that much of a problem. It was like kind of like if somebody was running across the map, you saw them. But now everything is really so detailed. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, but then on the, on the flip side, you get, uh, I don't know, it, it's strafe wasn't multiplayer, was it? No, I don't think so. Uh, At least the, that wasn't the point of it. I feel like there, there we're going to see kind of a return to form for like like low poly, like just blocky. There, player shooters. There have been a lot of games trying to be like the return of the original Doom. This looks yeah. like something straight out of Destiny. That looks very Destiny. <laughs> What's that's? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, that that happens a lot. I feel like with the higher level skins of characters, um, where they'll basically just get like a helmet and armor, and you don't have to look at their face anymore if you get the fancy skins for them. That's always nice. Um, but yeah, you're right, and. I always have trouble telling with like visual kind of noise in games initially when I start playing them because I can never tell what balance it is between actual visual noise right. and just not being used to like parsing the information exactly, yet. Exactly, yeah. I mean, once you, you know, once you play for a second, you start to God, this character is fun. That is really cool. This character is really sweet. Um, cuz you that. can do stuff like that and then you can jump like crazy and Keep swinging. It's just awesome. Man. So now uh, you're like already at the other base. So uh, let's see. Mr. Pig plays, I think. That sounds like a good YouTube channel. Like just a game, like a pig just playing games. I don't think that's what that is. Anyway, uh, he <laughs> said this looks like a Destiny cross with Overwatch. This has like nothing in common with Destiny aside from a couple aesthetic choices and things. But that's, you know, really years of space fantasy. And... It's got like the flowy fabric with the metal armor kind of vibe yeah. to it, but that's that's all it really has with Destiny. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I've said this before, I'll say it again. I don't think this game is any more of an Overwatch clone as any 
pretty much any first-person shooter is an Overwatch clone. Right. Um, it is it is a very unique game. Somebody was saying that this has been in development for since longer than Overwatch. Uh, I don't know if that's true. Or, I don't know if that's I, true I haven't either. read that. Uh, it doesn't, I mean, I don't know about the development, but at least they, it was in development when the Overwatch trailer dropped. Everyone got to look at that. I mean, Overwatch is a sensation. Like, it blew up. Um, it's not surprising. It's not like Blizzard is some, like, sleeper indie studio. It's kind of like, oh, these are guys who know how to make really good games. Oh, they made another one. Uh, <laughs> God, look how sweet that is. That's swinging. I just uh, wish this character wasn't only melee. That noise is great. That is a good noise. I like it a whole bunch. Yeah, that's her combo noise. Um, so if you can get multiple melee hits on a person, it does more damage. Like that. That's actually, you guys probably just witnessed the best I've ever played as the assassin character, so that's great. We Waiting for players in style. That's like a nice... Spinning like, yeah. around an orb. You're not just... Now, if you just stay up there and wait till people come by and shoot them, are you camping? Because you're not moving on your own. It's you the are. best camping ever. Orbital camping? Orbital camping. Oh, my God. That sounds like a great weekend activity as or well. Or just a terrible band. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, Buttface one. Jones says sick frags. Thank you, Buttface Jones. I appreciate it. Buttface, Buttface and I, we go way back. I got that sense. Buttface has been very, very friendly. Uh, Jake Simp1 says, oh I think there's a chance they'll add in free characters like Overwatch. Uh, that seems like what they're trying to do, right? Like, I, they, so they have not said explicitly, yes, they have not said explicitly, we're working, like here's our release schedule, but they have said, uh, all future modes and characters will be free. So that implies that yes, they are coming. I'm glad we're finally at a point where that's like that's the case. Uh, I think that you know, the Titanfall 2 is great, where they're like, hey, uh, buy the game and you get all the stuff that comes out for it. Oh, like, what now? And it's like, no, that's what you get. You get the stuff. You get all the maps and crap. So yeah, it feels like there's kind of been a like people got really mad at season passes for a while, yeah, and it I mean, feels they, like that you know, some developers are actually listening to that. Yeah, they fragment the player base. Mm -hmm. It's it sucks. Um, we. You can do this where, like, I'm just going straight into the back of their base. That looks great. Got him. I'm trying to think, has there been, like, a really good first-person grappling hook game? Like, Titanfall, I guess. That did that pretty well. But in terms of, like, first player, like, there's, you know, Mirror's Edge has parkour, and mm -hmm. you know, Far Cry has great, I don't know, game point. But, there's like, that game Wildlands that was primarily a VR game. That was kind of swinging a swinging grappling game. I've been meaning to check that out. I've heard that's I've heard that's pretty good. That one's pretty cool, but it's also like it's not like a full fledged kind of big thing like this. Yeah. Um, so that was an example of the battery charged up to about eighty percent in their base, and then we got it and plugged it into our base, and so we got that point. The um, where that type of thing wouldn't be available or wouldn't. I mean, happen that's on a, the uplink. That's also the, like a really cool sort of strategy. You like let people think that, oh, these guys these guys don't know what they're doing over there and they're really just kind of biding their time to come over and snatch your battery. Like let the... Oh, God. Enemy is charging the battery. That was terrifying. <laughs> Would it be terrible if I... Oh, my God. No, ah, she's got rocket boots. I was trying to just knock her off the edge, but too many characters have double jumps and flies to be able to do that in this game. Well, it's... That's you don't get those Lucio they're, boops. They're breaking the law of gravity. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, now I get the yeah. name. Yeah, ah. But also they're criminals. It really goes two ways. It has two different meanings. I feel like we should just come up with a third for it so it can be like a triple on hunger. Oh, no, I made the man in the chat cringe. Sure and never die. Yeah, I, I say a lot of dumb stuff, but I don't know. That's sort of just me. Cringing is healthy. Yeah. Exercises also, those face muscles. If you think the thing on the webcam will do the cringe, you should go to the party. 
go to the party and see the people. Oi. All right. Uh, I'm going to keep playing as her, actually. If anybody has other classes they want to see, but um, Kitsune and the assassin class is like, it's really tricky for me. And I'm actually in a little bit of a groove with it, so. Although we're about to get scored on. This is actually a pretty good close match. You could also just continue swinging around, because that looks like a hoop. So the way that works, by the way, is you have three charges. You have a dash uh, and a jump, like an, a mid-air jump. Uh, or you have a double jump in air. You have a dash, and then you have your your this, your grappling hook. Uh, and those operate on charges. So you have three of those, and there's a four-second cool. Oh, no. Oh, this is really bad. That's very bad. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, my okay. God. Uh, <laughs> so I kind of want them to add, like, racing to this. I know, that right? That would be awesome. It would be pretty sweet. Uh, have you played uh, Speedrunners? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it's a really fun game. I was not expecting much jumping into that. Uh, it is, how would I describe, that's like 2D parkour Mario Kart, sort of. Uh, that's a not a of, bad description like a for it, yeah. Kind of also a little bit of Cannibal in there. Uh, but yeah, it's that's a super fun game to check out. Uh, great party game. Uh, I would love to see like a, a first-person shooter like this adapt. That kind of thing. Heal me. Say like, have a nice day. Oh, that's so cute. Aww. So batteries in our base. Uh oh. Protect the battery. Oh, I've, I've got the heal. Hey oh. Oh man. Charles Mallory calling this game out because it's also a law breaking of sorts. They actually stole ideas from other games. No, nah, games steal that steal ideas all the time. Yeah, I'm not sure that's illegal. It's, uh, it's, it, yeah, you can't patent the game mechanic yet. Aside from that thing that Bandai did with loading screens. The, I was gonna say the yeah, little that's loading like screen the one games. Thing that, How did they get away with that? I don't know. I guess because it's like a game within a game or something. Uh. Um, but yeah, no, that's what I like about games. Woo! They're always kind of like borrowing from from each other. And, you know. It's a fluid art form. Oh, so we already have the battery. So now I'm just in the enemy base, kind of for no reason. But it's so fun to swing like that. I kind of don't care. Uh, Chris A. asked, does this game come with a map editor? No. No, yeah. That seems it comes like a... with a custom game mode uh, okay. thing. So you, you can, can yeah. like, if you wanted to get on a server and just, like, race your friends around the map, like, in a non-official way, you could do that. That's cool. Um, but no, there's no sort of yeah, custom mode. Yeah, I don't. Or, or map editor. I mean, I'm totally going on just like kind of just gut feeling here, but it doesn't seem like something they would add. So, I mean, they could, but it seems just based on how like the levels are. It looks, it looks kind of exceedingly uh, bespoke. An official map editor, I'll agree with, you. but the game is Steam exclusive, right? Mm. So. There yeah, is yeah. there is a case to be made that maybe they're setting up these cosmetics and they're setting up the um, there we go that was camping. <laughs> they're they're setting up these cosmetics and they're setting up the stickers and stuff like that to get ready for a Steam Workshop integration potentially. That's not I'm not saying that's yeah, actually yeah. happening, but like I mean, yeah, it would always, not be difficult. It would not be difficult for them to kind of transition into that. I just discovered this spinning thing like this morning, and it's actually my favorite thing to do in the game now. Just looping around it. Just like going like this and just letting it happen. I mean, that's like that, that's a it's a fun feeling to do things that, that feel fun, you mm -hmm. know? Like I don't know, like I, I'll occasionally play a game like a million hours, and there'll be like one thing where I'm still like, wee! <laughs> uh, while we're waiting to get into a match. Uh, Friendly reminder, we are giving away a big old prize pack from MSI. We've got a gaming keyboard, gaming headset, regular backpack. But it can be used for gaming and a super genius mouse. Uh, all of these things. Mitchell, show the picture. Show the picture. He's going to show the picture, and you can see it in a second. Uh, to win this, just head to go.ign.com slash plays live MSI. Uh, this, is, this is US exclusive. Sorry, guys. This is US exclusive. Um, that's that's like a weird legal thing. Like I, I always feel bad about that because I know we have international viewers, but it comes down to like 
uh, people who carry around briefcases and wear neckties and stuff. Not like him, but like like the long kind. Uh, but anyway, yeah, uh, go.ign.com slash plays live MSI. Uh, so, Garrett McAfee is having requests for playing as the Wraith. Yeah, I can definitely do that. That's my favorite class so far. Um, this is super funny. You can hook up your Twitch account to this, to the game. Oh, nice. So this person is, like, it tells you that this person on your team oh, is broadcasting rad. on Twitch. All right, so yeah, if you want to see... Uh, this game from another angle, I guess. Uh, <laughs> head over to twitch.tv slash Roms. R0HMZ. Yeah. There you go. Shout out, Roms. He's on the enemy team. Tell me when he's going to come kill me. All right. Yeah, go, <laughs> somebody go screenshot over Twitch. Uh, that's awesome. <laughs> With uh, a 20 second delay. Um, but in, yeah, there's also Discord integration. Like they use Discord for their voice chat. Really? Yeah. So okay. you can. It'll have a little icon that says, like, if a person on your team is integrated with Discord or not. And you can actually, like, it'll hook you through your own Discord client into, into Team Voice. That's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's got some cool little things like that. Oh, I'm, uh, the, I'm, the, I'm the Nerf Ben guy again. Stefan Myers asked, this game doesn't have a separate launcher or anything, right? Please, no, no, this is through Steam, no, right? No, all through Steam. It's Steam. actually, cool. except for through PS4, right. it, on PC, it's Four. only through Steam. Three. So Nexon is the publisher, Four. but... Somehow, Bosky convinced them to just do it through Steam. That's so awesome. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I honestly, I just, I, I get really sick of proprietary stuff. You know? I say yeah. as a guy who hosts a PlayStation podcast. Um, <laughs> uh, but no, I mean, it's it's like it's a, it's always annoying to be like, oh, download this thing to do this thing. I'm like, oh, I don't really want to do that. Whoa. So every time it says intermission there, if anybody's wondering, every time it says intermission, it means all three zones have been captured. Um, and then there's 20 seconds, and then they all unlock again, and you try to get them again. Huh. First team to 16. Uh, Ted Jackson was saying, this game reminds me of Tribes. Uh, yeah, it's got totally vibes. Yeah. yeah, especially the swinging I was doing. And like this is like, I'm not touching anything right now, right? Like, I'm just flying through zero G. Man, I miss Tribes. Yeah, what was it? Tribes of Sin? That was the most kind of recent one? Yes. Was that, uh, that, was, was that free to play? It is. It is still free to play. Is it still, that's still around? Yeah, oh, so Tribes, Tribes of Sin had a bit of a troubled history. Yeah. Um, now, who? High what? Res okay. is making that. Same people that do Smite. Um, and they kind of got the game into a state where they abandoned it, like for lack of a better term yeah. of saying it. They just weren't updating it. It had a lot of problems that the community was very passionately telling them about. Um, and they weren't updating it. And then I think it was about a year and a half ago, randomly it just like got a patch. And everyone yeah. was like, what is going on? Huh. Um, and hi -Rez came out and owned up and said, we felt really, really bad about the state we left tribes in, um, and we want to fix that mistake. That's and, really awesome. Right? Yeah, <laughs> and so they put about, like they didn't put a huge amount of people, they put like a, a handful of people on the development team to just like, get the game into a better state and then pushed this patch out and did like one more patch after that and then said, all right, now now we don't feel as bad, basically. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's much better I mean, than what could have happened, which it could have just what stayed. About, what about dead. like Tribes 2? Does that have a, uh, I feel like that's the kind of game that has like a very active community privately like patching it. And... I'm, I'm sure it does, yeah. right? Like, I yeah. always, like, that's, I, I, just, I love that people are like, I like this game. I don't ever want to stop playing. It. <laughs> I will spend 15 years playing the same <laughs> yeah. game. Yeah, those early early Tribes games still have, definitely have communities to them. I actually thought Tribes Ascend was pretty fun even before the patch, um, but I didn't play it a whole time. But Tribes is still out there. It is still free. And this does um, harken back to it in a, in a very real way, especially when I get shot out of midair like that. I really like, uh, maybe I can show this off, stop being as, as reckless, I've just been running in a lot. Um, but I really like the characters with triple jumps in the zero G areas. Oh, well, I mean, I can't blame you. That sounds like a good time. You can, yeah, you can basically just stay up for a very, very long time. And so, like, this is a stupid question to ask, like, an hour and a half into the stream. Uh, the sort of weird vignette effect around the edge, does that mean the gravity is affected? Or? Yeah. Okay. Um, so it just means you're going to kind of fly farther? Yeah, so it means you... Oh, that was a weird sound. Oh, you got a healer. 
That's not good. Have to retreat. No, 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 no. Come on, get through the door. This is your stop. Yeah. I'll just take C while I'm about to die. Oh. There we go. I got the point. See, look. Objective score. It's only two, but objective score. Wow. Zero and six. I'm not doing great this round. Well, I mean, the, the game's been out going on 15 hours, so yeah. everyone's gotten a real good chance to get, get good. There was someone in my chat last night who was, like, cussing out his teammates, like, you guys are noobs, like, you didn't stay on the point. And this other person on his team was just like, uh, the game has been out for three hours. Yeah. Like, what do you mean we're noobs? That's hilarious. Yes, we are noobs. Everyone is. Got him. Boogaboo in our YouTube chat says, PvP games are so boring and pathetic. Three, two, oh, well, I guess... That's an opinion to take. I guess we should cancel them. Yeah. All right, Call. for this, uh, as per request from Boogaboo, we are no longer going to cover PvP games on IGN.com ever again. We apologize for any uh, annoyances it caused. That must mean, that includes... Games, any games that have any sort of PvP, right? Yeah. Just any games. Any uh, So, yeah. Street Fighter? Nope. Uh, World of Warcraft? Nope. Call of Duty? Nope, nope, nope. None of it. Oh. Got him. No chess? That's a way to... Yeah, I walked into that room, I saw three people, and I was like, uh-uh. Chess? No chess. Sorry, All that's right. PvP. That's actually the first PvP game. Actually, I think uh, Rocks were the first PvP game. You just throw them at your the other, the other P. Can we... <laughs> Can we keep PUBG? <laughs> Can that one stay? Uh, no. Uh, I mean, it is absolutely a PvP game. I just was, I was hoping. Spitface92 says, Chessmaster9000. Bad news, that's also, uh, we're not going to be covering Chessmaster9000. You see, you see that game, uh, Chess Ultimate, or like Ultra Chess, or whatever? There's a chess game that just came out that is, <laughs> that runs in 4K at 60 frames a second. 4K chess. Yeah, and you can have you can change the environment in which you are playing a board game. I, I love, think it, it runs on VR too. I love uh, PC gaming so much. It's it's out there for PS4 as well. Oh, there you go. It also has the most epic trailer, where it's like it's like you're still playing that game that old dudes play in the park. But what if you were playing on top of a mountain in no, no, a thunderstorm no, 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 no. and ah. the skulls will run all around you? <laughs> uh, Abraham Lincoln twenty three says need to be skilled AF. That's why some people don't like it. Yeah. Um, I don't know if that was in a reference to PvP or this game, but... Uh, I feel like people try to do the joke chess game like every two or three years. There was a game that came out a couple years ago called Chess 2 The Sequel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this ultimate chess game is... It's not a joke. It's just a very high-res, totally vanilla chess game. As far as I'm wow. Uh, I mean, which is good because a lot of people do like to play chess. Unclear how many of them want to play it in VR. Oh, please. I'm going to die. Uh, Marvin Rattermacher says, Lawbreakers is better than Cancer Watch. I'll agree. Cancer Watch is really sad. That's an incredibly sad game. It's a somber game. Yeah. I, 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 that honestly took me a second to realize that was a snipe in Overwatch. Too. Oh, my God. I would have gone with Overrated Watch. That's, a, I think, a better one than mm. Cancer Watch. Yeah, that's solid. Cancer Watch sounds like a like a weird like CNBC segment. Oh, <laughs> jeez. <laughs> the worst segment. That was a close match. So that one, that was that round, we were at 14 to, or what was it? 13 to 14. So if we could have managed to get two to their one, it would have been 15 to 15, and it would have been next point wins, which is like really, really tense. It's interesting, like, I went 2-11 and 11 that game, which is not great by any metric. But uh, this game does have a lot of opportunities to, like, play objectives and, and kind of play off point. And not saying I did any of that, but <laughs> but it, it does give you those opportunities. To, wow, like, you're so bad. They're actually auto-balancing the teams. They're, they're getting, yeah. They're, they're like, who wants them? I see that message a lot. Usually it's because I'm too good. Yeah. But... Wow, Roms is doing a good job there. Yeah. Oh, that's how you mute voice. 
th there's interesting little things in this game. Like, like you can't actually turn off the chat. Weird. Like, you can't mute people. Can as far you as can I minimize can it, though. You can minimize it, but as soon as someone sends another message, it just pops back up. Huh. Um, That's odd. I think you can... I, I was looking... For, there you go. Uh, I was looking for... Uh, um, I was looking for a way in the menu, like the options, uh, to actually turn it off. I noticed that there's actually, where was it? Uh, audio, profanity. You can turn off the profanity in the game, which I, is wow. so funny to me because like the whole deal was like, Cliff Blazinski was like, this is the adult game where they swear and you just have like a little slider for profanity in the menu. That's so, that's so odd. Oh, we got Blitzball again, so we can get Roland again before we stop. I guess some people might want to play the game around their kids, and they're totally okay with their kids seeing them like shoot somebody in the face. It's not a very bloody game or anything. No. There's not much gore to it. Uh, who do we want? Let's go to the Harrier again. We haven't done that in a while. This is the uh, Iron Man character. Fetty Waffle. I like that, like a Fetty Wap, but different. Uh, is there a story aspect to this? I know it's multi-only, but I wonder if there's any reason for everything kind of going on in the background. You were saying the moon broke? The plot of the game is incomprehensible. Right. <laughs> um, it's... The moon has been broken by somebody. So and they, it, they build a big uh, one of those things? Yeah, to... of course. <laughs> I think that's like a Ferris wheel type thing of the future. I think um, that's a, I, I think that's a, a wonderful, uh, hokey sci-fi excuse for a totally goofy multiplayer shooter. Yeah, the moon broke. The, the gravity has broken because of it. We don't know if that would happen or not because... The, the moon has never broken. It's we don't. Who can say, really? Aside from like momentary, uh, you know, like when there's an eclipse, the moon disappears for a moment. We've never had a broken moon. That probably would mess everything up. I think it's actually a sci-fi novel. It's about that. Oi. Uh, so yeah, the moon broke. Gravity went wonky, uh, and then half of the players are like one of the teams is. Like basically drug dealers, I think, and the other team is cops. Um, yeah, so it's cops and robbers in zero G futuristic laser boots and setting. Pretty much. Some robots and frowny faces with blood on them. Uh, yeah, I feel like they might wind up doing, uh, you know, a web comic or something. I mean, I really, I kind of dig that. Uh, like, I like, I like what Overwatch has done. The fact that they're like, part of me initially was like, there's no story. I want to play a story, but like, look at that. They, there's there's world building here. You're on the Santa Monica boardwalk? Yeah, this is Third Street. <laughs> Third Street of the not. future. That's hilarious. I love that. What are those stupid dinosaur topiaries? I used to live a few blocks. Uh, yeah, but I mean, it's it's kind of cool to have like this sort of supplementary uh, content. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, you look at, uh, I mean, Street Fighter's always, there's always sort of been a single player, but having like a story to it has only been like a recent addition. It's more just like, who are these characters? And why are they, what are their relationships? Oh yeah, and I don't want anyone to misunderstand. Like, I will openly mock the, the setting of this game. Yeah. But I also don't like, I, I'm not asking, like I'm not saying that as like, uh, this game really needs a deep plot in order right. for me to like fly around in zero gravity and shoot people with a laser gun. Uh, it's just such a silly thing, and I think they know it. Too. Well, I think, I think uh, video games as a storytelling medium are awesome. I'm all about that, you know, interactive narrative. However, sometimes video games just need to be fun, and yeah. it doesn't matter exactly what's going on. So, yeah, the moon is, is broken. Go for it. I don't care. I'm into it. Uh, we're getting a lot of requests to check out Battle Medic after this. Yeah, I'll do that after this life because I'm really not doing well as Harrier. Um, I'm just going to let Justin Roiland as a robot ball come to me, and then I'm going to giant laser the person holding it in the face. This is, this is the plan. Okay? Got him! The plan worked! A plus plan. Uh, Alejandro Berga says, will this game include comp anytime soon? Uh, like competitive play? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have, yes. Yeah. ranked, right? They're, they're going to add some sort of ranked something, yes. Uh, right now it is only a quick match queue, which is actually, like, definitely one of my complaints with the game, is that there are certain modes that feel like they are slightly more casual modes that are mixed in with the only queue available. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to whenever ranked shows up. And it will. They just haven't said when or 
Uh, we are winding down. we got about 10 minutes left on the stream. Uh, friendly reminder, if you'd like to win a cool MSI prize pack, there is a gaming keyboard, a gaming headset, a backpack, and a mouse. The mouse is a super genius. The keyboard and headset are for gaming. The backpack can be used for all sorts of stuff. Backpacks are great. Bring all kinds of stuff in the places. Uh, head to go.ign.com slash, uh, sorry, go.ign.com slash plays live MSI. Uh, we got links in our video descriptions. Go check those out. Uh, I am keeping an eye on the chat here, seeing what people want to talk about, answering questions. Uh, Tom's review of uh, Lawbreakers is going to be up, uh, kind of review in progress on Thursday. But you seem to be enjoying it. Yeah, so far I am. Yeah, and uh, the game is thirty bucks. It's out now on PS4 and PC. So you know, what a what a strange what a strange age we live in. We are playing this game live on the internet for people to watch, and they're asking when they can read your review of this game that is <laughs> available for purchase. All right. Well, they they trust us. Yeah. Um, Alejandro is also asking. Uh, Additional events and game modes added during the lifespan of the game. I mean, obviously, we got to kind of wait and see with that. Yeah, they've said probably, I think. Yeah. I, I, my vibe is yes, we'll just have to see when and what kind of they prioritize. Heal. The way the healing works is you have these two drones and you can send them out to people. Um, and they just like stick to that person. Huh. But I think if they take too much damage, they go away or something like that. I guess it's when the shield on them breaks, they go away. There's something I really like about pointing animations in first person shooters. It's oddly satisfying. I do a lot of spotting in Battlefield. I'm pulling this back a little bit. Woo! Uh, Boogaboo is saying this game reminds me of Infinite War Warfare, to be honest. I'm kind of getting that vibe, too. Just, I mean, that was... It's got Infinite Warfare, Titanfall vibes, all of that sort of stuff. The main thing is that the modes in this game are, like, yeah. really kind of distinct to it. Um, all five modes are score modes, right? Like, it's there's a thing that you and the other team are both fighting over, um, and the first team to get a certain amount of points... Whew, that was close. From that thing. Wins. I have the ball. Ball saying, how you doing? He's hanging out with me. He's my friend. Albie Romero Higuta says, hi, guys. Hi. Got it. Hi, Albie. Um, the Unmasked Troll says, why have I never been healed? I've, been, I've had the game since morning release. <laughs> the people don't know how to play it yet. It's, yeah, so it's been out for over 11 hours. Not to mention there are only two characters, I believe, that can heal. Uh, there's the one I'm playing right now, the Battle Medic. Uh, and then there's... Oh, dang it. There's one, and then there's somebody else who can just drop, like, health packs. Like, they can't even directly heal. Um, so it's really just not kind of the point of the game. Right. It's. I mean, it's, it's less of an emphasis on tight teamwork than... Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Oh, I didn't realize I had the ball. Ah. Uh, Joseph Jackson says, mobility looks crazy. Are there any clear advantages for certain characters in specific maps? Uh, in maps, I would say yes. Um, it's too kind of early for me to tell, like, if there is a class that is OP or not, mm -hmm. right? Like, everyone always wants to know, like, what's the OP character? And you were mentioning that the Wraith... Feel, like yeah. some people have been saying that. That one's got the triple jump. It's pretty fast. You got the slide kick. The I slide. can't quite tell yet yeah. who's OP. But like you saw me with the assassin on that one map. Like that was like the the open open map where you could swing around. You can do that on that map. You can't really do that as much on this map, right? So there are certain maps where certain levels of mobility and modes too. Certain levels of mobility are more or less useful. Right. I would say. The the ones who are OP are the people who have been playing since the closed beta. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those uh, yeah. the people that have been in here since the alpha are the ones that are, are breaking the game right now. They're the real game breakers. The lawbreakers. 
breaking lawbreakers. Uh, the Unmasked Troll says, will there ever be more lawbreakers for each class, or law and breakers for each class will be restricted to characters per class? Per class. I hope that made sense. Totally made sense. Uh, I was actually kind of wondering about that. I feel like that's the kind of thing they would be doing maybe like a year and a half in. You're thinking like, so the question was like, uh, a class like that is got, unique yeah. to one? Well, no, so you've got, um, no, I think more like a, well, I guess, I guess this is more, more characters. Actually, that's a good question. I was thinking, would there be a third, like a third oh, fa faction? Third which faction. could be cool. I mean, if they want to really mix things up, and, yeah. I mean, maybe have like kind of. They'd have to add like a subtitle, and then that would be the name yeah. of the third one, right? Like they've got Lawbreakers, yeah. and then they'd need like. That's the kind of thing I could see them doing like a year and a half in, you know, like kind of after this game has really sort of established a user base. You know, sort of doing yeah. like a game of the year edition type or having like an expansion. But it's like, hey, now there's all this stuff. Going on. Uh, as for having, I think that eventually they're going to have to start sort of like not not unbalancing the, the character base, but adding kind of new characters or things. Jesus, that person was using their ultimate on nothing. Um, yeah, no, I think that would be an interesting thing. The, it introduces a lot of little problems, right? Like suddenly they have to make three characters every time they want to do add a new role. Yeah. Um, on top of that, your cosmetics for your weapon skins and your gun stickers uh, carry over between... Oh! Carry over between there. the same role, but they'd have to make new... Or you'd have to collect new character skins and, like, footprint skins uh -huh. yeah. per, like, faction you were. Like, it's already kind of weird to me that if I invest 1,600 coins or whatever it is into a skin for a certain role, I only get to use that half the time because half right, the time right. I'm going to be on the other team. Huh. So if they did a third one, then it's like another step for that. It's another level of that. Uh, let's see. Mark Rory Day on Twitter says, has it got a team deathmatch mode or is it more of an objective-based shooter? It doesn't really have any, like, just vanilla. No, it doesn't have any yeah. vanilla modes. No payload I'm, modes. No yeah. straight capture point modes. All the capture I'm, point modes are, like, capture to a score. I'm kind of surprised by that. Uh, I mean, I feel like that's the kind of thing that's... I mean, if it, if it needs more balancing or polishing or whatever, that's something they can add ease, like, later on. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty surprised that they don't have a, uh, a sort of plain deathmatch mode and I think maybe one of the reasons is uh, because we don't have any um, and there wouldn't be a queue separate for it okay. right like if you just want to play objective mode you got ooh, a cool costume look at I that did. This is for the uh, so before we wrap things up we're gonna be uh, just ending things in a couple minutes here I don't even know if I have time to jump into another match um, we have a contest giveaway going on right now uh, regardless how you're watching this is unfortunately uh, for United States only uh, but MSI is giving away a PC gaming prize pack, which includes a gaming keyboard and headset, a backpack, and a super genius mouse. Uh, head to go.ign.com slash IGN, or I'm screwing this up. Go.ign.com slash plays live MSI. Uh, I believe we have links in our uh, stream descriptions on various platforms. Uh, just head there and uh, you should find instructions. And uh, here's a picture of the backpack on the, on, the, on the television right now. And I assure you, it's in higher resolution than this image. People were sassing us about our JPEGs. Kick rocks. Kick rocks. My so favorite brand know. of shoes. Yeah. All right. This guy has like a bunch of anarchy Wait, did symbols. You, did you switch off the profanity? I did. Maybe that's why it says kick rocks. Maybe it normally says kick ass. Oh, man. Now we got to see. Let's, okay, let's test it out. But that's just the audio. I can't. Interesting. I really hope this is true. We're finding out one of the... The big burning question. Nope, it says oh, kick, rocks. kick Rocks. I really wish that it would actually change the decal as well to be, be Kick fun. Rocks instead of Kick Rocks. censors the boot. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, Tom, you're going to have a review in progress up on Thursday. Thursday will be the first impressions, yeah. yeah. Lawbreakers is out now. It's on PS4, it's on PC. It is kind of like a fast paced Overwatch with some more arena shooter mechanics. Uh, it seems like there's some cool stuff going on here. I'm enjoying uh, it. I'm excited to see what they do over time. I think that's sort of the, where we're at with a lot of. Uh, multiplayer games is mm -hmm. you've got to kind of let them grow in the wild and uh you know see if they take off and if they're good they do uh on that note we have more ign live play i i can't talk we've been doing this for two hours straight <laughs> ign plays live coming up when is it mitchell friday. friday we're gonna be playing agents of mayhem uh which is the new sort of uh 
sort of Saints Rowish hero shooter from Volition and uh, Deep Silver. So uh, tune in back here then. Does that make sense? That makes sense, I think. Makes sense. Uh, Tom, you can be with on, you. you're on Twitter, right? Yes, uh, at Tom R. Marks is my Twitter. Cool. You can hit me up there. And I'm Max Scoville. And, of course, keep an eye on just at IGN for updates when we go live with stuff like this. And if you're watching on something, I don't know, subscribe, like, share. Do whatever the thing is. Recycle, uh, reuse, and uh, get a good night's sleep. And on that note, we'll see you guys around. So long. Have a good one.